Ah, oh, shit. What's going on out there, y'all? It's the Negro Rockin' Podcast coming back at you. I'm one half of the I-70 Connect, the KC Store. I got my homeboy up in Topeka, 30 pieces of AG. What's going on, homeboy? What's going on? Everything good. Again, now about two hours into pregame, and now we're just hitting the record button right now. So what's going on? This is 30 pieces of silver uh, from Topeka. Uh, my basement, literally my basement. You know, not trying to sign hood or nothing. You trying? You you hiding out from uh? You hiding out from Donald Trump? Oh man, I think everybody needs to start hiding out from that dude, bro. Nah, man, I'm a, I'm gonna take him I'm, to goons though. I'm riding with TKO of a uh, high five starter, man. I'm just gonna embrace it, dog. I'm gonna vote for him. And like my man TKO said, man, just nigga, just make a hot pocket and wait for the fucking apocalypse to fucking kick off, dog. Nigga, just make a hot pocket and just go. Just go stand outside, man. Watch the motherfucking fireworks, dog. As the fucking nuclear ho- holocaust reigns, reigns throughout the whole fucking world, bro. Yeah, I mean, I I think, you know, you you talk about Donald Trump, and I know, and you know what I I because he talks about it. Um, I don't know the per, all the personalities yet off of the how fire started, but the fire started, but um, I did talk. I, I did I did remember some of the episodes that they. Uh, they talked about about they just wanna they you know just to fuck around they're, they're gonna vote for Trump so that he can win and then all of a sudden like you know you can watch all these quote unquote white people be like you know fuck you thought like basically say look at them and be like would you expect it though? like you you knew what was coming though. Duh, are you yeah. not hey I'd be like motherfucking uh my nigga in uh Gladiator are you not entertained <laughs> nigga. <laughs> This, is this not what you wanted? Nah, you it, know what? And you saw me on the text. I mean, I th- I know that. Uh, nah, you, nigga, I'm for real. I'm tapping out, dog. People, people, people who equate Hillary to Trump, dog. I just automatically Trump. I I, I, I tap out, dog, because and if your friends listen, your brother. I know your brother listens. So they, or brothers listen. That's fine, but there's a level of like sexismness there too, though, right? Because it's like. And but being a, a man or a male, I think a lot of times it goes unchecked, and we don't even recognize it, bro. It's like this man literally was not literally on TV saying, "Nigga, I ain't, I have not paid like nine hundred eighteen million dollars worth of fucking taxes, dog." So how is that not crooked? No, it is, man. I mean, that's what, I'm, and I'm glad. What was it? The, the, the attorney. Attorney General for the, the state of New York, yeah, you know, nah. looked, looked, looked into it, and then they finally brought charges on him. Or I, I think it's like a slap on the hand, though, because I think it was just I like mean, they, in the they day didn't register, just... they didn't register air quotes, they didn't register correctly or whatever. It's a it's a white collar crime, otherwise known as a white man crime, where a rich motherfucker gets away with doing rich white man shit. Dog, let me let me let me not pay my taxes, but, dog. But my nigga Wesley Snipes had to do had to do what? Like two, 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 three years. I think two, three years. And that nigga, that nigga was uh fucking hiding out in motherfucking uh, Bangladesh for, <laughs> for, it, for like oh, a they, year, nigga. Did they extra? Did they extradite him, or did they? I don't did even, he come back with willingly? I, th- I think he came back willingly, dog. Because them, them Netflix, them uh, direct to Netflix movies, dog, don't pay no bills, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but, but now, yeah, man, I'm glad. You talk, uh, 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 I'm glad you were opening up with Trump, dog, because. I mean, you see, I mean, after the first couple of debates or the first debate or whatever, then, you know, you, you can see it on Twitter, you know, but it's like it's, it's, it's what it really comes down to is the lesser of two evils. And even on over the weekend, um, you're on a, on a, we're on a group message for uh, for uh, the fantasy league. And then also it, it rolls into like all sorts of conversations that I don't I want to ignore, but. You know, you, you even saw some. some hey man, of the, y'all I, niggas text like bitches, dog. I just want to say that, nigga. I be coming to my phone, nigga. It'd be like a hundred and eighty-five text messages, nigga. I'd be like, and it's and it's only it's only eleven a.m. <laughs> for real, dog. No, but you see, man, like you, you know, it's sad though, man. But like even down down in South Florida, though, where there's like a big, it, just just in Miami Day, though, there's a big Hispanic, you know, especially Cuban population though like you would think that um it'll be a de- mostly democratic or, or liberals or whatever but look at you know my boy's telling you he showed us pictures though there's there's trump rallies there's trump 
fanfare all all around. Uh, even nigga, it's still the South. It's still the South, dog. But you've been you've been to Miami, dog. Come on, now you've been right. But, it, but it's, it's the, the same, South. Dog, it's the same it, thing. It, right, but it's the same thing as saying you've been to Overland Park, and there are so called liberal tree hugging motherfuckers here. But there are a lot of fucking conservatives here, bro. For this to be such a so called liberal part of Kansas. There are a lot of conservative motherfuckers here. No, I agree with you, man. I think that that's, uh, you know, I talked about it in one of the episodes, earlier episodes is, you know, it's, and even I, I struggle with that myself. It's kind of like, you know, I, 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 I want to protect what I got, you know, what I gain and, and, and what I've, uh, what I've been successful at. And at the same time is like, you know, some of these second and third generation Hispanics, a lot of them though, they, you know, once they make it, you know, quote unquote, they 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 get they make it to where they're successful or whatever. Right. Um, a lot of them, you know, they start shifting words, and, and it does happen. And, and sad, but but true, it happens a lot with when you have more uh, uh, financial gains. Obviously, you were mentioning it too. Is uh, earlier too is in the earlier episode. It was you know, uh, you know, with more money, obviously you're gonna try to look into being more conservative and how you can re- re- uh, retain some of that. That those finances, that money that you have coming in, you know what I mean. Obviously, it's it's the natural move, dog. But a lot of it, you know, now it's starting to boil over into um, some of the social programs, some of the social um, ideologies that people may have, man. Like that, you know. I understand if your fi- if your financial situation changes, I could understand that your mindset, your financial mindset, wants to be real conservative. I get that. That's the natural move, right? But I think I think it's, it's a, there's a there's a big problem where a, I have an issue with when it becomes or or when it affects your social ideology or your social beliefs. You know what I mean? I think right. and I think that's that's what happens down in South Florida. That that I think even though I'm Hispanic, I'm Latino and shit, and I think we're gonna hold it down with, with Hillary just because she is the lesser to evil, and, and it does come down to. You know, I don't right, feel but, comfortable. But what you mean? I, mean of, I, I get, the, I get that's a figure of speech, though. But like, I get, when, I, I know you just saying it's a figure of speech because other people say it. But when people say a lesser of two evils, it kind of annoys me a little bit because <laughs> it's another way. It's another sexist way of saying she's just yes. a better candidate. Period. Oh, I thought, you, I, oh, I thought you were gonna go. I thought you were gonna go with the other one. No, I was gonna say thought, she, she, she's a better candidate. But instead of people who just hate the Clinton name saying she's the better candidate, the other way to say it is the lesser of two evils. Is it because is it because of there's that fe- that feminist, not that feminist, but it, there's that um, the bravado in us that that's already ingrained well, I, and that we're, we're not easily gonna give give it up to her like that? Or because well, no, I, I think a, a lot of people hate do hate the Clintons. Don't get me wrong; they they said and just like the Bushes. I mean, they've set up forth a lot of policies that have, you know, fucked over the middleman. But like all politicians, that's what happens. And I mean, I don't mean to brush that aside, but to say she's any more crooked than any other person who who's in the Senate, in the House of Representatives, at these high levels of uh, government, it, it, it's it, it's laughable. I mean, it's laughable. And I'm talking to people, and they go like, "I was that in that whole our text message thing talking about the Benghazi, the Benghazi, and the emails." I'm like, "You understand? Those are a lot of calls that her team put together. You're talking about generals who decided upon what to do and what not to do. Not just her, right? I'm talking about military personnel who decided the end, the end game. And if you think she's the only the only um, person in government." who has some emails somewhere on a uh, server that nobody knows about, I need you to in, to go back in your history books and uh, look up uh, J. Edgar Hoover, the guy who the FBI built his name after of. Let's talk about some of them documents and some of them files he had in his motherfucking office on people. So people just need to just realize that it's the game we play when you get into politics, man. And I hate to say it that way, but everybody got a little dirt on somebody. Ain't nobody clean this motherfucker. I mean, as much as I love Barack Obama, I mean, I'd be hard pressed to say that. I mean, and of course, this is a whole new way of warfare we got going on right now. But he didn't draw more people than any other president in our history. But cause that's the way we do business now. But as of right now, he's drawn more. Whether you want, whether they, whether they were innocent, whether they were uh, 
high high level assets, whatever you want to call it. They were people, they were human beings who with no trial, somebody said, This is the guy we're looking for through some fucking eye in the sky satellite, and they sent the drone, and they bombed him, and of course you'd be a fool to think that those were the only he was the only person that got killed that day. So every politician, especially at that level of the game, has some dirt on them. So just miss me with the uh lesser two evil shit. She the the dirtiest, crookedest uh <laughs> person that's ever run for government. And just and just keep it real and just say you don't want to vote a woman for president. That's what that's yeah. what it comes down to me. I mean that was the long winded explanation. Yeah, my bad. I, I, took, I, 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 I did a Frank. I took a long <laughs> I took a long, a long trip to get to the point of motherfucker. It's just the same way where it just it, comes it, down it, to it, her, it, her, her, yeah. her, her sex. That's it. Mm-hmm. The same way people did with, with Barack Obama. It's obvious that he was better than fucking John McCain and Sarah Palin. It's obvious he was better than fucking Mitt Romney, whoever the fuck who he was gonna run with. But so instead of saying, uh, instead of just saying, I ain't voting for no niggas, I ain't voting for nobody. And so hey, now, speak- go ahead. Go ahead. Finish. I was gonna say, hey, speaking of which, who, who's run, who's our running mate? Uh, we we talked about him, the old boy from uh, Virginia. Was it him? Yeah, we talked My about bad. like. My bad. I, I know we were, we were talking about him, but hold on, hold on. I, I thought hold I thought on. he dropped or something. No. Um, Live hmm. broadcast. Yeah. Uh. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Kane. Gary Johnson. Wait, what? I thought it was Tim Tim Kane. Oh, you're right. Tim Kane. My bad. I'm looking at Gary Johnson. That's some dude on Fox. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. Tim Kane. My bad. Sorry, y'all. It's Tim Kane. Yeah. Tim Kane. I mean, but if you go through all these stories, man, every I mean, everybody is hyping up everybody to be dirty. And I tried to be fair about it. Like, even like how they're trying to hype up this whole thing where. Um, uh, what's fucking Trump said that, you know, suicide victims or PTS, PTS victim, PTSD victims, the soldiers who commit suicide or cowards. If you look at the transcript, he never said that, but they're kind of paraphrasing and almost putting words in his mouth. So it's like, I don't know, man, it's just the, the, the election season is too fucking long. It gets longer and longer every fucking cycle, bruh. Every cycle, though. I mean, like, it's like we, I feel like we've been electing the president, electing the next president, like, two or three months after fucking Barack Obama got sworn in for the second time. That's what it feels like. Mm, for real. No, um, but yeah, no, like, I was, you know, going back to kind of touching up on that Trump and just that down south and even deep, deep down south, uh, the bottom, as we like to call it, um, yeah, I mean, I, I just, you know, I, I think it's, I didn't find it real. I mean, I, I ain't going to lie. I was kind of surprised how much of the uh, pull he's getting right now over there, down there. But um, knowing that he's saying all this shit about uh, the Latinos and all that stuff. But the thing about it is, man, I, I always kind of go back to, um, and I don't know how much, you I mean, you're, you're, you're a pretty knowledgeable guy, so you'll probably know a little bit about it, but. You know, I don't know about what you know about what the, the Cuban struggle has, the Cuban crisis has been, and, and how it's affected South Florida and in the U.S. government. I mean, right. even Eli, Elian, uh, uh, the little boy, yeah, Elian. Is... Yeah, when, when, I mean, there was a lot of people. I mean, I, I remember them days that people would go to the house and, and put up a barricade, a human barricade, so, like, no one would come in to, to get this kid. And then until they finally put actual barricades, um... And then the people were, you know, uh, protesting on the other side. That way, you know, you know, you have cameras there. You have the public opinion out there and, and people uh, recording, you know, um, getting firsthand accounts and everything and being witnesses in case anything ever went down. But now, uh, but eventually, you know, fucking Janet Reno and her, the SWAT team went in, you know, got the kid and he went to, to Cuba or whatever, but. You know, I you know we we like to I like to think that you know a lot of us Latinos are woke, which is, which is a, a good woke. keyword for now. But we're not. I mean, it, you know, it's sad to say though, but like I see a lot of my Cuban friends, though, like 
their second and third and even now fourth generation Cubans that, you know, yeah, they know Spanish, but a lot of times they don't know. They they say they know the history of their of, of their people and the struggle, but at the same time, not like they're here over they're over here, you know, mm-hmm. representing a party that does not have the best interest for them though in them though. I mean, as a whole, they may find they may find a connection, but I think individually it makes no sense though. Like my boy Carlos Reyes, man, he his his dad, man, his stepdad, you know, this man they 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 put me up in that in the house, you know, to let me finish my junior senior year, and you know I didn't know I, I didn't know this for the longest time, but this man served some time uh, under under Fidel Castro, dog, like in and them, them hard ass prisons. I'd be damned if if. I'm going to vote for anybody. That's why I had a hard time when the embargo came out, you know, got lifted. And finally, I mean, granted, it got lifted slowly um, and it's still there's still stipulations on there. But, you know, I found it kind of hard to to agree with why they were doing that. But at the end of the day, though, it really does become it's an economic uh, decision. Though, and it made sense to do it now, um, whether I agree with, with President Obama's policy or not. I mean. Financially and econ- economically, it made sense for both nations, though, because ultimately that's where we were heading. There, I mean, I think already companies were were, were already starting to 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 set their eyes on there, having a press. Yeah, yeah that, once feet. once again, your boy Trump had been doing business there. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, I mean, it was a hard like it was a hard pill to swallow, though, you know. But really, just because of my, the, you know the the connection I have to my my best friend's uh, uh, dad, I know he. He for the you know he doesn't like he didn't want to see anything he wants to see his people thrive but he doesn't want to see it thrive that makes Castro ultimately uh, better or, or any Castro man family members make better but anyway man like you know getting back to it um, you know Trump man you know part of me I'm already fatigued by him I'm exhausted and I keep and I know this year I, I'm I'm probably gonna vote and I say that because I don't haven't voted for the longest time because. I'm always, I was always in the military. My military vote doesn't really count. Um, but now, I, I, you know, I feel like a obligation to go do so because I'm, I ain't going to lie, dog, because if Trump wins and I don't vote, you know, that's by me voting. It's a Trump victory, though, whether he wins or not. Though. I mean, yeah, a lot, of people don't to, a lot of people don't want to say it that way. People, they don't want to see it that way. They want to say, oh, my vote doesn't matter. But they still want to be the same people that want to sit up here with you and talk politics. So I'm like, well, if your vote doesn't matter, your opinion doesn't matter to me. And that's, that's why I've been telling people. Like, look, that's why I didn't chime in. I'm like, if you're not going to vote, what the fuck are we talking about? Yeah. Um, why, why, am I, why am I wasting my breath? You've already, you've already decided that the uh, future of this country isn't worth the time you're getting off your ass and checking the fucking box. Why am I going to spend 20 minutes trying to fucking type out 180 fucking character messages with my big ass thumbs to somebody who, who obviously doesn't give a fuck and is not informed enough. Hey, you hear that static? It's coming on your side when you talk. I hear some static on your side on this end when you talk. Uh, it, must, it must be Skype pulling through some shit then. Uh, I've, I've been hearing the... I've been hearing some of, some of the shit that's been happening. This guy's been yeah. on and off this last couple of Anyway, yeah, I hear it once in a while. Um, but yeah, man, I mean, you know, hopefully, you know, I say, you know, we'll do, you know, what we could record, you know, you know, on election night. And, you know, hopefully it ain't going to be a long, but we could share each other's, I guess, emotion or record our, our, our emotions through as we see some red states turn blue and some blue states turn red. Um, we'll see what happens, man. I think it's, I think, I think it's going to be Hillary. Um I don't think it's gonna be by a landslide. I think it's gonna be it's gonna come down to the wire, and I and I think ultimately it's just gonna be because of her, her the sex she is right? because she's a female. I, I think that's really what it's gonna come down to. Um, I don't know. That's my opinion. Let's see what happens. Yeah, pretty much that and who her husband was for a lot of people, and then that even that also goes into some of the sexism of. I'm I'm basing your worth off of your husband as a as a woman, right? Because nobody nobody does that for a male a male president says, well, I'm not voting for you. I mean, look at Trump. I mean, 
Nigga, just imagine if Michelle Obama had led the life that uh, Trump's wife has led. Oh. Uh, Nigga. Pe- pe- people got mad when she had her arms out. Well, people got mad when she didn't wear the headscarf when she visited, I think, what is it, Saudi Arabia or whatever? And yeah, she nigga. went up to... She got permission. She got permission from the from from the they head boss. Pe- people gonna be mad no matter what she do, nigga. Yeah. They gonna be like, she, she take a shit. Oh my god, she's polluting the earth, nigga. Like she ain't supposed to take no shit. For real, though. Like hold it in constantly. Yeah. Anyway, man. Uh, so how you doing after this weekend, bro? <laughs> oh look, breaking news: bro. Florida State is gonna disband the program, football program. They cease to exist, though. Nah, all, fun- I, all funding is going to go to the chess club now. I mean, wh- so what's going on down there, man? Man, you know, I, I'll tell you, I think it really comes down to our defense. And and, and I hate to, and I say that because real hesitant because at the end of the day, points score uh, wins games. Scoring, scoring is the name of the game, though. You know, whoever has well, the most points on the scoreboard wins, though, right? Um, and the defense right. has to, you have to not allow it. Damn. Yo, did you just see the picture that Rod Art posted up on Twitter, dog? About what? Oh, no, I ain't even going to do it. I'm married, dog. I'm married and you're semi married. I ain't going to do that to you. Yeah, well, but anyway. Well, yeah, keep up, with your, keep up with, your, with your story. Yeah, so. Let me, let me uh, try and throw us off, bro. Yeah, no, Florida State, man. I'm, I think really um, Jimbo Fisher, though, I'm, I'm going to accept him, you know, for the time being. Uh, you know, there's rumors that, you know, he's a, obviously he's going to be a top candidate for the LSU job. But, mm-hmm. you know, it, that, that defensive coordinator, man, I'm sorry, man, but he needs to be gone, though. Under his tenure, are the, the biggest the biggest losses have, have came under him. And right now the defense is struggling. You you could explain this better than I am, than than, I, than, than anybody else. Abe, hey, you could try to. We're playing a three four three four five. I think it is. Is that, is that what it is? Is a three four? Wait, three, three four. It's a three down lineman. No, three down lineman. I know three down lineman, three linebackers, and five, uh, and five three. D backs. Defensive backs, yes. So basically, like a nickel at all times. Yeah, but uh, is that is that what it, is that what it is? Damn. But anyway, so that they have like one of the, I guess one of the safeties or weak safety. I don't know what the fuck. Either so one you, of the safety so plays plays be, be, plays uh be, between just behind the linebackers, but just be, before the strong safety. You know what I mean? So so it's that, like that, a, it's like a modified nickel, or sometimes you like a, but not a bear because in the bear defense, you usually have like four or five down linemen. And four linebackers, right. and you play cover three over the top. So like it's right. like a modif- it's like a modified like nickel. You say they're probably using that. Uh, they're probably using that uh, defensive back as a spy for some of these. Well, he is. It's a, it's, yeah. it's a rover. It's basically like a rover, but like behind the linebacker. And what they're what they're having to do is uh, was that Irwin James? I think it is. You mentioned it a couple episodes of the, uh, ago. Is he was he got hurt? He's gonna be hurt for the next couple couple uh, games and. He's he's really that 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 star that 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 shine in that in that system because he was the rover essentially we he he's big enough that he could play a small linebacker a weak side linebacker but then mm-hmm. he's he's small enough fast enough that he can uh you know play that cover cover most tight ends and 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 if not all wide receivers or slot receivers so that's what we're having a problem and, and you know we're not getting any push from the defensive line there's no way we're all gonna right. get pressure with. With three people, we're not blitzing when we need to blitz. Um, you know, I mean, I, I think it, w- it was an easy call, man. This, especially the last couple games, it, it, shit. The last quarter of the last game, you know, all he needed to do was just bring pressure to the quarterback, bro. I mean, yeah, the quarterback he had a decent arm and all, but he had all the time in the world, though. You, when you're just rushing three fucking folks, you have five linemen that are blocking three people. Come on, bro. With no blitz, right? The but edge. You got, so they weren't they weren't blitzing at all. I didn't watch no. the game. No nah, man, they were, I mean they were they were they were mixing up the blitzes dog here and there, but they were they were they were um to me it felt like they were playing like a man man zone dog almost man because uh the 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 linebackers they they instead of coming up 
you know, an attack, uh, you know, attacking on the sides. It almost felt like they were dropping back to a zone, but not even really. They were just going to the sides in the zone, and that's why our, our the middle has consistently been oh wide open, bro. Even even on the little dump passes, I've you know play action passes are like it'll be I got you know the the running back will go out for five yards, you know he dumps it on the middle and he take he gets fifteen twenty yards just in the middle, dog, and you know I don't know there was too much emphasis on the backfield. I mean I I think. You know, hey, keep it simple, man. The the and honestly, the defense, um, it feels like it's a little bit too complicated for the for the kid, the the players that they have right now. Um, they're starting, they're 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 not starting to learn it, but they're 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 still learning the system. You know what I mean? Like, right. I mean, I know some of them have been there, but you know, they're still they're still learning the roles, and 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 you know, it's um, you know, it's kind of like when you have muscle memory, you know, like you know, you use you're used to doing something for so long. And all of a sudden, now you have to uh, react to something different. Um, you can't help but kind of, you know, refrain, you know, go back to what you, you know best. And if you're a corner, man, you're, you're going to try to lock down your man. You're not going to try to get another assignment. You're not. So I think that's what's happened. And there's a lot of personality issues, too, within the the the, the, the team right now. Um, my, my, I, haven't, I haven't watched it because I know I'll probably – get more pissed off but i probably should to get more insight but my brother's been talking to me about the showtime the the, the show that fsu has um on showtime and he you could tell there's a lot of uh there's a lot of anger there's a lot of yeah, finger but pointing. They, they, they play a lot of shit up on those shows though too no there's i mean you could tell bro i mean you could tell that they're like there were there's a lot of frustration out there that like you know, people just that, that the mentality is not there. A lot of the, the, the there's a lot of frustration because I, I believe I don't think that they bought into the scheme, though. Even right. though they probably publicly said, "Yo, you know, we like the scheme. We love this. We're doing something new." I think at the end of the day, I don't think the players like running that scheme on defense and on offense. You know, Francois is going to be Francois. I think he's getting better, a little bit better every time. Um, Dalvin Cook is starting to wake up again. Uh, we're starting to hit a. Uh, our line, uh, uh, not a linebacker, our tight ends a little bit more, um, which I, I've been waiting for that for a couple of years now. I think uh, Jimbo's, uh, Jimbo's, the offense that Jimbo Fisher runs is 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 is, is more in tune for for a tight end to to be more successful instead of a being a blocking tight end. Uh, but I think we're starting to see that a little bit more. But at the end of the day, man, we're letting we're giving up too many points, uh, and then. A easy stop. Yeah, whenever, whenever you lose, you give up too many points. It's an easy stop. <laughs> it was it was a simple. It was an easy stop that we could have done, uh, and they try to you know, a North Carolina kicker. He made a fifty plus yard field goal. Uh, fuck it, dog. I mean, we deserve to lose, dog. And at home, hopefully, hopefully right, now, some... hopefully motherfuckers wake up and 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 and. For, you know, hey, for someone, scholarship, dog. For someone to sit in and want to talk about it, you've been talking about it. Don't ask me if you don't want to know that motherfucker. I told you, I, I, No, I'm just saying. I told, you said I don't, you I told, said I don't want to talk about it. I'm, 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 look, I'm looking at this damn, uh, this fucking, uh, <laughs> this fucking, uh, fantasy league game, dog. It's two, it's two twelve to two eleven. I just need fucking the New York to score a field goal, or at least a touchdown, and I'll win the game, bro. Because he has, he, he has a uh, Minnesota's defense. Oh. The guy I'm playing, dog. Fucking Ben Roethlisberger. This nigga had 55 points, dog. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Cam Newton, dog. I'm, I don't know what. I, I've been watching all his games. I don't know what happened. I don't uh, know that nigga up or one out, but he's getting on. Uh, but it, it's, it feels like they're sending the house on his ass, dog. That nigga. That nigga said it. Race don't. That nigga said race don't matter. And all them niggas out there on the field, they 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 show him it too. Yeah. Uh. But it feels like man, that man be running, and I feel him though because you know he can't he can't run every play though. He needs to sit there and take the quote unquote hits or whatever, sit in the pocket though. Because honestly, I was watching him man, last two games. I fuck played. all he, of that. He Randall, could take off. Yeah, he could take off. Yeah, Randall yeah, Cunningham taking... did that same. Randall Cunningham did that same shit. Stay in the pocket. Yeah, his motherfucking his motherfucking kneecap blown the fuck off. Yeah. Nigga, if you can run, he, run. Yeah, and even and even even when he was running in this last game, though, but I'm talking about hey, the NFL needs needs to protect that player, though. 
NFL needs to needs to protect the, the future of, of what the what quarterbacks is gonna be, dog. Because I mean, but, but does the NFL but the, does, does the NFL see him as the future as as that though? That's the thing. The, the NFL has never seen a black quarterback as the future or the franchise or the face of the NFL. Yeah, we're good for making the little marketing campaigns and fucking fucking NFL play 60, go outside and run around, you little fat fuckers. But as far as, like, the the, the face of the NFL, you're going to have Brady, you're going to have your Aaron Rodgers, even fucking Drew Brees, motherfucking Matt Ryan, motherfucking, uh, what's that motherfucker that just got his motherfucking back blown out over in England? Uh, Andrew Luck. You have them motherfuckers before you have Cam Newton. But they they need to, bro. I mean, whoever whoever the higher ups are, the, whoever's actually really running the show. I mean, fuck it. But if it has to be that owner for the Carolina Panthers, though, he needs to speak up and say, "Hey, y'all got to protect this man because he was taking he was taking a lot of good licks, bro." I, I don't. Yeah, he, he began. No, he began fucked up. He the didn't last finish the weeks. fourth quarter. He didn't finish the fourth. Quarter. I know. They talking about they talking about uh, the concussion protocols might come into place, and he he uh, yeah, he may not suit up for uh, this week. Oh, God. I, I'm sitting. Yeah. I'm sitting on Phyllis, uh, uh, Philip Rivers right now. So, I mean, shit. hey, and also, yeah, let let my let, let my team go by. Yeah, Missouri just sucked, dog. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's set that up though, because you had a you you were facing what LSU, LSU, uh, dog. A week at a week a week ass SEC East team. How's, no LSU, how, how's LSU a no weak future. ass? Whoa. No whoa. future. Hold on, dog. Who's y'all face? <laughs> you want to talk that shit? Who the fuck y'all face? No, no, nigga. No, no, no. You, you, you going to set up who, who, did, who did y'all face? Who's 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 y'all face? The Tar Heels, dog. Who? Get it right. The Tar Heels. The well, who they been playing? Y'all play the basketball Y'all play the basketball team? Hey, we don't make the schedule. Hey, yeah, okay, nah, I don't want to hear that shit. Y'all niggas lost to the fucking North Carolina Tar Heels, dog. Oh, you got a goose egg, bro. A, no, we didn't. We scored a touchdown. <laughs> I'm just saying, get your, get, get your victory. Fa- hey, now nah, get get your facts right. That's all I'm saying. Get your motherfucking facts right. Oh. Anyway, go ahead, man. Nah, I, ain't nothing can be said, man. Uh, I'm looking at the stats now. So, 17-37. For a lot, 167 yards passing, interceptions, no touchdown. Uh, matter of fact, this is what's so fucked up about our team. The quarterback scored the only touchdown, but it was like some fucking double reverse fucking play with a pass, and then caught like in the fourth quarter to score a touchdown. Dog, we had to dig that deep into it. We had to dig into the fucking water boy playbook, nigga, to score a touchdown. And then, damn. what's up? I said, damn. And then, uh. Nigga, our top our top rusher had forty eight yards rushing, dog. Four, 11, 11 carries, forty eight yards rushing, man. And I think, and I've been saying this all year. You heard me talk. We talked about it too, man. Our our running game is just went to shit. And if you go back and people say, "Oh, you guys had all those high power passing offenses in the past," I tell people, man, go back and look at those tapes. The running game, the running game. We always had a dude that had a hundred plus. Sometimes it was a few, a few weeks. We was average niggas have one hundred twenty plus yards a game rushing. You get a motherfucker that has one hundred twenty plus yards a game rushing, and you got that read option going, bro. Nigga, the field gonna be wide open because them linebackers, gonna, them linebackers gotta respect the run. Now, if you watch, the, if you watch our games now. Them linebackers ain't worried about our running game. Obviously, if you got a running back, your top rusher got 48 fucking yards. Why Why do I care about the play fake? It, I mean, it's just, it's just simple shit, dog. It's simple shit, man. I, I mean, and I know we got we got a new coach. It's his first year. And, you know, I don't want to beat him up too bad. Uh, cause, but he's a defensive coach. So I want to say the defense should be better, right? Right. 42 points. But then again, it goes back into... If anybody knows knows football, if your offense is getting four and out, four and out, I mean, it's not four and out, three 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 and out, nigga, the defense at some point in time is going to be like, fuck, but I can't even say that when we we allowed, we allowed 21 points in the first half, 21 points in the second half. So it was consistent scoring throughout the game. So I, I don't know. I don't know what to say, bro. You know, isn't it, isn't it, isn't it crazy, though? Like, I mean, I mean, I, I guess 
you know, we're hitting, we're not hitting our stride. Your team's not hitting their stride at all. Mm-hmm. And it's kind of like we're going through the same frustrations, you know, probably a little bit, you know, there's some similarities, but, you know, not 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 exactly the same. But it's, it's amazing how frustrating, though, like, you get with your team and how emotional you emotionally attached hey, you bro, are. Hey, bro, I didn't even watch the game. Because I knew. <laughs> I knew, dog. I knew, nigga. I ain't watched the game. I knew. I knew. I said, nigga, we put up 79 points to a fucking, some fuck-ass school from Delaware. And these niggas probably reading the newspaper. Oh, they ain't got no coach, nigga. I said, nigga, we about to get it. We about to get it. And then, so, them niggas play like shit. And then the Chiefs do what? Nigga, did they even show up, bro? I didn't watch the game though. I, I, yeah. I, it was, it was, it was a late evening game, and I was like, the chief. And but, but you were saying that, so, so Florida State lost. Right. My wife's a Kansas State fan. I'm a Kansas State fan too, but my, you know by default. So they lost too. And well, they lost to West Virginia, you know, right? Yeah. They put hey, up dog. a nice little fight. No, no. They were hey. up. But West then v- they gave hey, up. West Virginia ain't they bad, bro. <laughs> of course you can say oh, that. Me. Oh yeah, cause, we, cause Missouri lost to them niggas. My bad, <laughs> mean burp to the mic. No, but so so Florida State lost. Oh hold on, man. Oh hold. Wait a minute. Y'all niggas play Miami next week. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nigga. I'm gonna have to block y'all niggas. They already. Let it's already check. start. It's already started, dog. It's nigga, already I'm, started. I'm gonna look at my phone. I'm gonna have fucking two thousand text messages, nigga. I'm gonna throw my That's- phone out the window, nigga. And that might just be Saturday, like Thursday night, though, because hey, dog, the score is two twelve to two eleven, dog. I need New York to score a touchdown, dog, so I can win this game. So you're depending on Eli Manning, <laughs> nigga. I, nigga, that's what, dog, nigga. The Panthers they shit the bed. Well, no, actually, no, that's my other league, nigga. New England shit the bed. They field goal kicker makes the field goal, nigga. He gave me negative one. D Hop the fucking Hopkins man, I don't want to talk about it, dog. Dog, my I got defenders that outscored my offensive players, bro. Damn, I got uh, I Zach, got that threat. Zach Brown from yeah. Buffalo. This nigga scored thirty five points, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dog, this this nigga put in Hall of Fame numbers, dog, on a regular ass Sunday. This nigga had 18 tackles, a sack, and two forced fumbles, dog. Damn. <laughs> anyway, though, I always talking about the Chiefs, though, man. 14 to 43 against Pittsburgh, dog. This nigga being Rosberg, dog. This nigga had four touchdowns in the first half. Did he did he sit did he sit after that? No, nah, they brought him back out, dog. This nigga had fifty. This nigga had fifty five points in our league, dog. Nigga, oh, nigga, nigga. I almost uh, threw my, I almost threw my fucking tablet out the window, dog. When I saw that nah, shit. Speaking of speaking of our league, dog, and it just hit me, dog. I just, nigga, Julio Jones, Julio Jones, and Matt this, Matt Ryan scored sixty two points. Ju- this nigga said Julio Jones. That's all right, I mean, cause. Matt Ryan. Uh, Damn it, I'm, no, about to, I'm about to lose, man. Fuck. The one, the one that broke that 300, 300 plus yard for him, dog. Hey, mm-hmm. man, Matt Ryan closed his eyes and just threw that shit, dog. He, I mean, he was like, man, go up and get it, dog. And he did. Dog. I'm like, man, it's some bullshit, dog. I man, hate fantasy, dog. I hate fantasy. I hate fan, dog. You understand? I'm about to lose this game. 212.5 to 211.3, dog. When I went to bed, the up before <laughs> nigga, now I went to bed before the Chiefs game started, nigga. I was up, nigga. I was up forty five points. This nigga had one man in the game, dog. Motherfucking nigga. He went. He went. He's a monster, huh? Nah, he's a rapist, nigga. <laughs> that nigga raped my fantasy team, dog. Dog, dog, but anyway. <laughs> Nah, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna be looking. And speaking of the fantasy, I'm gonna I'm gonna look into like making some moves, um, making some adjustments though, for the next four games. I'll see see what I can. Uh, Cause I think I went two and two these these last four games. I'm gonna try to go three and one the next four games. So, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, there's I'm some adjustments. Up, I'm giving up on our lead, dog. I'm just gonna focus on my fucking my my, my work lead, dog. And just let these <laughs> let these white let these white boys have it. I know you listening out there. Oh yeah, Josh, he's a fan. 
got your ass this weekend. Got your ass. They could beat you by like 40 points. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so that's enough about sports, though. That's not oh, about sports. Anyway. So uh, the Royals didn't make it, so I know a lot of people around here are sad. Uh, they're not making you know, you know, I don't watch uh, yeah, um, but you know, you still support the local teams. I know you do, you know, anything, I do, I do, anything, anything Kansas City, you, you really get behind, dog. So I'll give you that much. And you know, speaking of that, um, sporting Kansas City, they they lost, well, no, they tied this last weekend, um, but they're uh, they're kind of they're, they're close to making it to the postseason, so we'll see. Sporting Kansas City is a soccer team for MLS folks that that. Are listening, but don't know what I'm talking about. So, right, 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 right. And then, to, and then the last bit of the soccer news in three, two, one, five good soccer seconds. Shout out nobody, Dan Patrick Show. Nobody it's, knows. Uh, nobody knows about that yeah. shit. Uh, hey, uh, speak, speaking of Italian, hey, hold though, up, man. Hold what up. man? Nobody care about you, soccer, nigga. Hey man, USA gonna play Cuba in Cuba, though. That's actually pretty big, though. That's fine. Yeah. Next. God damn it! Did nigga get the first down? Uh, nigga, I'm gonna lose this game by one point, dog. I'm gonna be so mad. Anyway, so speaking of t- uh, so a segue, nigga. Speaking of your fuck ass school, but now I'm, I'm gonna have to ride with it, dog. I know you saw me post that shit about my grandma, bro. Yeah, her name sounds really familiar, dog. I ain't gonna lie. I I, I really thought you were gonna say something about like some racial shit, but I didn't. Re- you surprised me when you said that it was a relative of yours, dog, or or. Well, it's my, it's my, it's it's my. Well, I know most people who know me. My grandma Joe, she passed away a few years ago. So my grandma Walker, she is my uh, grandpa, uh, my grandma's first husband, my mom's dad. She is my grandpa's second wife. Yeah. So there's that, and um, yeah. So what we're talking about is uh, my grandma uh, Jackie Dupont Walker. Uh, she was one of three African American uh, students who who were initially uh, desegregated Florida State University, and she was honored uh, this past week as an honorary alumni member at Florida State University. And it's just one of those things. I mean, I didn't know about it. I mean, I knew about her. She never really talked about it. She does a lot of work in. Uh, she they live out in California now. She does a lot. She's a social worker, of course. I don't know if I said that before, but she's a social worker. Uh, she does a lot of work out in California, yeah, out in Watts, Compton, all those areas we hear about. I remember going out there for summer times. I'll go out there and stay with them. And, you know, we would do a lot of community work when I was out there. And, you know, at first it was, like, it was annoying. He was a little kid. Like, nigga, I just want to skateboard and eat fucking gummy bears. I don't want to go help these niggas out that I don't know. But I think that's where my sense of community comes from is from her. And, you know, we would go out there, these children who, you know, uh, low income housing, uh, whatever, so bad social meme norm, unnorm you want to put upon them, lack of parenting, good parenting, but no resources, whatever. But, you know, she's always been invested in her community. So yeah, man, I mean, I mean, I, I just didn't know that about her. Uh, but I read her little thing that was uh, posted on your Florida State you know, University news page. Jackie DuPont Walker was a pioneer in the segregated Florida State University as one of the first African-American students to be admitted in the 1960s and received a bachelor's degree in social work in 1966. She is the founding president of the Ward Economic Development Corporation and has spent 25 years developing affordable housing, creating neighborhood networks, facilitating job creation, conducting uh, asset mapping, and spearheading integration of community efforts. DuPont Walker also maintains a strong commitment to faith-centered and empowering uh, development as a lifelong member of the AME African Methodist Episcopalian uh, Church and by serving in leadership positions for a host of civic organizations, communities, and commissions. Like, and I knew my, I always knew my grandma was like loved in her community, but it's like before Barack Obama became president, uh, I think it was like a year before he went on the campaign trail, she had like three or four pictures with him that she gave to me and my sister's dog. I got to find my picture, of course. I, I move. You know, I'm not big on, you know, shit like that. But my sister has it up in her house. So I maybe I have her send a copy of it. But, yeah, dog, she's, yeah, she's a well-known uh, woman, especially out in the uh, uh, L.A. area. But, yeah, you know, Grandma Jackie, salute. Love you. 
No, nah, I mean that's that was new to me too. God man. Damn, I lost this game. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Nah, that that was news to me too. But her name really sounds uh, was was uh, sounded real familiar to me. I don't know why. Uh, maybe just probably one of those deja vu things. But you know, I mean, I thought yeah, I thought that was pretty cool though, man. Um, I I clicked the the link and I started reading on it. Um, and that's when you told me just when I was like uh, getting to her down to the reasons why she was getting uh, recognized and all that stuff. You sent me the, the next text message was about um, that that she was your, your grandma, though. And I'm like, I'm like, damn, that's what's up, though. Like, I mean, there you go, though. There's there's some of those Florida State connections, though, that uh, at least one that we have now. But, I mean, that's cool, though. I mean, it's, it's really course, awesome. It, it, comes to, it, it comes to my family to uh, help your racist ass school not be racist. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it had to start somewhere, right? Yeah, start somewhere. It had to start somewhere, though. I'm just, you know, I'm glad that we were, we were not just on the pos- on the negative side of history, but we were also, you know, the trailblazers <laughs> to, on the positive side of history too. So, right, yeah. I, mean, I think I, your I, brother, I think your brother's racist at school. Took a while for them to. Uh... Oh, he don't want to hear that shit though. That's fine. Told, That's fine. I, 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 told, I, I, told, I told you. I'm, I'm riding with him now, though. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be on my Wikipedia searches, dog. I'm going to have them facts. I'm like, your school racist as shit, dog. <laughs> yeah, he ain't trying to hear that shit, dog. I, I pointed that shit out. He was like, he's like, no, nah, man, that's that's not it. I just support the football. I'm like, whatever, man. You can't you can't just support the football program, dog. You give him money to a... To a you give him money. Not, that's what... Like we talked about last week, though. It's like... I get it. I like that he is. He wants to be involved, but it's that young man vigor of not seeing the bigger picture, dog. It's like, I mean, do you go to Walmart? Yeah, nigga, you give to a race. You give to a racist, sexist, fucking homophobic, all that shit that you, you that you say you stand against. You giving money to that shit. Yeah. You, you you can't you can't help it you can't fight it dog it's just it's it's the way the system unless you fucking fucking growing chickens and cows and slaughtering the motherfuckers yourself unless you making your own motherfucking shoes and socks dog unless you fucking got burlap fucking pants on going to work nigga you giving money to motherfuckers who don't give a fuck about you yeah in the day I mean as much as I love Nike I don't like what you know the day, the sweatshops that they have the Child labor laws that they shit fuck Nike these MacBooks we talking on nigga they got little Asian kids jumping out of windows nigga that's all right though they could jump all they want though. I want my Macs to work <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's why you ain't shit dog <laughs> <laughs> nigga said I want I want them Asian kids flying nigga <laughs> the more they fly. The more they fly, the better my MacBook going to be, nigga. Yeah, nigga, the flying hidden dragon make my MacBook work. It's like, what, what what I got? What's this motherfucker, 1080p? I want 4K on my shit next year, nigga. I need, I need, I need to read about at least five or six deaths. Next year? <laughs> I'm talking about that shit next month, dog. Next month. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm surprised you ain't got that iPhone 7. You probably got the 7, don't you? No, nah, I ain't got that. I just, I just uh, up my shit to the... The success though. Well, you got the plus or the little the little no, baby I got, joint. I got, no, I got the same one, the the little baby one. So you got little I, hands, that's why. I, I, you got you, no, you got them, I, you got, I you got them Trump it. hands. You got them Trump <laughs> hands, Nick. No, it's not the Trump hands. I got the uh, John McCain hands, dog. <laughs> the T Rex. Oh no, no, John McCain got regular hands, nigga. That nigga's no, arms don't. is short no, as fuck. Don't. No, that, nigga, that, nigga, that, nigga, that nigga arms is short as fuck, dog. That, that, nigga, that nigga Fink has got, like, arthritis already. <laughs> that, that nigga was getting caned to death, nigga. Whatever, dog. For all we know, he was Oh, getting, shit. He, for all we know, he... he, he hey, dog, that, that fuck right. That, that got to be a named episode, dog. Trump hands versus McCain hands. <laughs> flying, flying Asians and McCains, dog. <laughs> You can't put that shit on iTunes, nigga. They gonna come find this stuff. <laughs> well, you said it, we could have. You said I could have put the shut up pussy on there. And it's been on this since oh, day one. Nigga, I'm sweating, dog. I'm sweating. I'm laughing so hard, nigga. <laughs> oh shit. The oh flying dog. Asian, the flying Asian McCain's, dog. Yeah. 
Anyway. But also, man, so so I know, damn, it's been a minute, but we was talking about that earlier, we, well, in the pregame and then last week when we had a show talking about uh, traditions. So talking about my grandma Walker, I know you were talking about traditions for I had to think about it, man. We really didn't, there's really been no strong, like, family thing, but I know my mom, grandma, my pops, I've always pushed, like, uh, this strong commitment to your community that you're in. So I know, like, my, uh, well, not my biological father, but the man I call my dad, Sylvester, uh, who passed when I was uh, my freshman year in college, you know, he was a cop. Uh, he also helped found, he was a founding member of like uh, the ad hoc group against crime, which is real big here in Kansas city, a uh, nonprofit group. It helps like, you know, missing kids, missing members of the community, uh, help call in, solve, you know, uh, unsolved crimes. And then also he was like, a I don't know if he was a founding member, but I know he was on the board of us back in the days. I don't know if they still do it or not, but it was called noble, the uh, national organization of black law executives. Um, so through that, like he would always push, like you know, give back to the community. If you ain't got no money, you can always give time. If you ain't got no time, you can always give a little money. You know, so he was always big about that shit. Uh, my uh, grandma Joe, who passed, excuse me, dog, got the belch. Uh, my grandma Joe, who passed, um, kind of remember one of the, uh, the local churches here in Kansas City, and she was always about community. So I think. Um, just, just thinking about it, for me, that's kind of been like the thing that I always try to push upon my kids. Like, you know, you really, I don't care where you live at, you really, really, really need to give back to the people in that area. So, I don't know. What about you, Pimp? Well, um, I'm going to give you another long-winded explanation, so. Mm. Nah, anyway, no, um. I wanted to touch on that, man, because, you know, we talk about sports. We talk about uh, a lot of different things. And um, one of the things that uh, I was listening to the podcast, uh, uh, Latino USA, and um, it's on NPR. <clears throat> and one of the one of the episodes was talked about the traditions. And like I, like I mentioned in the last episode, it's it basically it was, a, it was like a, it's like a dumb uh, folklore tradition of like cutting your baby's hair you know um and and it, the reason i connected to that is because one of the things that i wanted to do with my son when he was born was you know i was looking forward to taking him to the barbershop even before he was born i was looking forward to taking my son or my kid to the barbershop you know i mean even if it was a, a female i would have taken taken her to the salon or whatever even even you know i'm not gonna take him to take her all the time and whatnot but one of the questions was is in, in that in that episode was, um, you know, what's you know why you know what's the whose tradition is it to cut the kids' hair? Is it a real tradition or is it just something like a myth or something? And he just zoomed in. That what's up with that? But um, you just zoomed in like your face is like mad big right now. But anyway, so. Um, so, so, so basically they, the, the lady had a new kid and cut her, you know, decided to go cut his hair or her hair so they could come out, you know, thicker and more fuller or whatever, but they defunct that. That's just a myth. That's just really just one of those things that are personal, uh, family, family traditions that for me, it was one of those things that, Hey, you know, um, for the longest time, I didn't want to cut my kid's hair. But it got to the point that it was real shaggy, and I want to cut it. But that was a moment in, in, that I, I captured. You know, I captured that with my uh, on my phone, and my barber was real cool with it. He got a little piece of the hair and everything. But you know, that kind of just sparked me thinking about. You know, after listening to that show, is like, you know, what traditions look at like what it is that we do that are that I do traditionally. And to be honest, like there were there's not that many things that I do with my family. That are that are quote unquote traditional. Um, for the most part, we're kind of like a broken family in the sense that it's just my mom, my sister, my two brothers, and myself. And now my two nephews, and my son, and my wife. Uh, that's really all our family. So we don't have 
the quote unquote, you know, like if we get together, you know, we don't have like a food that we prepare. We don't mm-hmm. have like a ritual that we do or anything like that. Um, we're not real religious. What while we respect it, we're not real religious. Um, <clears throat> one of the things that I, so I couldn't. So from my mom's side, I couldn't think of like anything specific or nothing that you know kind of jumped at me or whatever. But one of the things that I went that I went in and did was is kind of like reflect on one of the things that I were doing and indirectly started, and it just just me and my wife Jamie. Um, so call it a tradition or not, um, we want to put our son to bed at a certain time. Um, but when we do put our kid to bed, we want both of us to put, be, be there for him, for him or her in this case, just for Logan. So, um, whether I'm like doing something in the kitchen or I'm downstairs working on, on, on a paper or something, whatever, or work. You know, I pause uh, at that time, that w- whatever the time we decide to put him to bed, and we go and we walk, we walk to the, the little narrow long, the, the narrow hall, hallway to his bedroom, and we walk, hold hands, and we say, you know, bedtime and this and that, and we give each other kisses on the mouth and hug, and it's like a five minute thing though, before we put him to bed, but. You know, I you know that's something that I want to do as long as I I possibly can because there's gonna be a time that our kids are gonna grow up and you already have older kids they're not gonna want to do that. Right. Shit. If you don't start it, I, I guess if you don't start it early enough, then it's not awkward later down the road. You know what I mean? So, and that's one that's one of the things. Um, and that's one of the things. That, you know, right now I'm really kind of having a hard time with it because. Um, I'll, I'll be gone like I told you in, pre, in the pregame I'll be gone for two weeks and before thinking about or before the, our last episode I didn't really think about it but having said that I was thinking about tradition and I wanted everybody else to think about traditions um, I've been having kind of a, a real tough time up with that shit you know, like you know so like now we're gonna try to come up with like alternatives like you know do FaceTime and and and, and just kind of how we're gonna kind of do it, especially being an hour ahead of them. It's gonna be kind of hard. I don't want to break it right now. I don't want him to think because uh, right now he's at the age that he's absorbing a lot of things. The other thing that we're doing too is um, we're doing. I, so I bought the while a while back. I bought the Rosetta Stone Spanish, um, and that's one of the things that I guess I want to keep going. Whether I don't have a I don't have like a family history that I can tap into and pass on to my son. But what I could do is I could panic. I could, you I could can find out about it though. I can't, pa- I can't find out about it. Um, and, and, and I think eventually my, my Chrissy's real big into that shit. She's on, she didn't track so much shit through ancestry.com dog. I mean, who knows if it's true or not, but yeah. Hey, <laughs> my, um, in, in, in my family, and that'll be for another episode. But anyway, so so for him, I want to pass down at least the ability to understand Spanish, though, because I, you know, me being a, 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 well, he'll be my he'll be the first generation because I wasn't born here. He was, so right. he'll be the first generation, you know, American, that, you know, he's on that verge of losing the Spanish connection. Not necessarily ethnicity, but the Spanish, the Spanish language, and 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 I take that shit to heart, man. Like I really want him to at least learn, at least be exposed to it, and and and, and be able to know what the fuck is talking they're talking about. Not necessarily speak it, but at least understand it. But yeah, though, um, you know, there's there's those little things, little nuances that we do on a day to day that just kind of. I guess they turn into traditions. I know some people have like customary ones. I know I joked about the soul food and all that stuff, but um, but we have our version of soul food, and I, I do. I mean, my my son he eats queso fresco, black beans or brown beans. I prefer black beans. So and rice. My wife hates that we eat rice with everything, but that's what I uh, excuse me. That's what I grew up with. Though. I grew up with rice, black beans, and. And, and cheese, some type of cheese, dog, you know. And for us, it was queso, queso fresco. So, you know, whenever possible, I like to have 
those three, if not at least one of them, in our meals. And my wife knows that. So my son loves it. So those are the kind of type of things that we're doing with him. So. And, yeah, my, like, me and Mike. I'm oh, sorry, go ahead. And, 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 like, to finish out. So, like, you know, I go to a bar, a black barber shop, but they're real cool. So I take my son, and, you know, to him, <clears throat> I mean, obviously, growing up with me, he's going to be exposed to a lot of, uh, a lot of different things. Um, you know, he doesn't feel awkward uh, when I take him down there. You know, he, like, dabs everybody, you know, high five and everything. Talks. So to to him, he's just interacting with somebody else, you know, not necessarily you know disassociating uh, personalities or, or or skin color or anything like that. Um, but you could tell. So that's something that I'm doing with him too, uh, indirectly. But you could tell that there's a, a a comfort zone when new parents bring their mixed kid especially if their kids are a little bit lighter than they are or wider or whatever. So there, you know, there's that timid factor from the base. From That's the Pika. <laughs> so those are the times. What, go ahead. You were saying, what were you going to say about Grant? Oh, not so much Grant. Just my kids. I know I didn't even, as you were talking, just like some things that we do. I didn't know like traditions, but like, you know, uh, on the weekends, we always play a board game, um, you know, at the table, no cell phones, no technology, you know, somebody, whoever is weak it is, they pick a game out, they pick a game out, we got like 10 or 12 in the closet, pick one out, we sit at the table, we play a board game to it's finish, um, and then, and then it's funny, because then we also, we have our, our weekend, like, Halo match, so it's like uh, the twins, me and Zakia, you know, random teams. We play Halo. So I mean, I mean, just something to where you know, some type of bonding, uh, some type of you know, just something where we're we're all there in one room, one space. If it's Halo, people can you know you can have your debate whether it's you know it's you know you guys aren't really focused on each other, but there are no outside interruptions. No one's on their phone. No one's on the tab and no one's on the computer. We're on the Xbox, and if you're playing teams, you got to talk to each other. So it's, there's still that dialogue there. Um, usually on the weekends, um, we try to make it a point to like go to the park, go outside, especially when it's warm or even in the fall before it gets cold. We'll go out, play basketball, two on two. You know, of course I'm out there, so I, you know, I just kind of just sit outside and pass the ball and whatever but just still it's just trying to instill that 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 you need to make time for family time i guess like i don't know if that's a tradition but just something I want, you know as i excuse me as i get older and you know they get older and they have kids kind of want to see them still do that with their children you know as a grandfather come visit them or whatever and see that you know they sit down and whatever the fuck they're doing in 2000 whatever whatever variation of board game there is, but they're sitting down with their children and still like, oh, grandpa's coming to visit. We're all going to sit down and play Sorry. This is something that, you know, we used to do at grandpa's house or, you know, whatever the fuck, you know? So, I don't know. But I bet, but it still goes back to that sense of community, that sense of uh, family to me, though. So, whatever you're doing just needs to, like you said, you and uh, Jamie, putting Logan to bed at night, still building upon that sense of family, that sense of just togetherness. Uh, me and Maury, we don't so much like put Grant to, to bed together, but in the morning time, you know, we try to be there in the room with him same time to wake him up. So it's kind of like the same thing. Or if she, you know, if she wakes him up or if I wake him up, cause one of us in the shower for whatever reason, make it a point to, Oh, Mom is in the shower, so he'll, we'll go in there. Or Daddy's in the shower, we'll go in there, and he'll, you know, half half awake smile and say, "Hey, that way he see, you know, seeing our faces, smiling to him, saying, "Hey, good morning, son," is the first thing he sees, you know. And with the other kids, and they wake up, "Hey, good morning," you know, you know, let's get ready to go. It's something that they see. So still, just building that sense of family, a sense of love. Um, yeah, 
I'm sure a lot of people do that, but you don't really think about it while you're doing it. You know, right. you're just like, okay, I'm, I'm just taking care of my family. But I don't, I don't know. When you started talking about last time we spoke on this podcast, because we speak outside the podcast, it just made me think, you know, what, what am I, not so much traditions, but what am I doing to have an influence over my children for when I'm gone? You know, what am I doing? What am I saying? Uh, what, um, uh, damn it, modeling am I doing as far as for their children so that it becomes, not so much, I guess it's tradition, I guess, but just something that just gets passed upon to where we did this with Grandpa, and Grandpa's not here, and they're not saying this out loud, of course, I hope not, because that's so, that's kind of dark to say it to your children. Right. But Grandpa's not here, but I want to share this with you, this board game that we used to play, because Grandpa's not here, but I still want to feel his presence. So I want to share this with you, because, you know, and of course, I don't believe in heaven or whatever, but my children do right now. So Grandpa's in heaven, that's what they would be saying to their children. So right. this is what we're going to do. Right, yeah. I mean, I, I said the word tradition because it's it's like on that podcast, that's what they referred it to. I mean, but when we th- when we say that, when you hear the word tradition, you think about like something that's like formal and written and passed down. Right. But, you know, a, a lot of it is to, like our behaviors or actions, uh, something that we want to pass down, pass down to, to, uh, to, to the next generation or whatever. So I may we may, I may not be using it the the right word in this term, but but you're right though. I mean that's you know I thought about you know when I actually before asking that question I had to kind of think about it a little bit because when I used the word tradition it took me a little while to I couldn't I couldn't like hone in um, a specific item even though I named I just named off like three or four or five of them right but but when I when I just you know. I guess took that word tradition out and just said, okay, what am I doing with, with my kid or with my family or for myself that, that I, I do without knowing, you know what I mean? And, or, or, or behaviors or, or actions that I do and on a repeated basis, you know, and, you know, putting our son to bed, uh, talking to him in Spanish and, 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 and learn, then it's not like making him one, not making him speak Spanish, but at least understand it. But the other one is, um, you know, we, we eat at the table. and But a lot of that is, is, you know, we don't eat on the couch. You know, my family was one of those that we ate separately, ate on the couch, ate with TV on. And, yeah, while well, we have the TV on, but we all eat at the dinner. But our emphasis is on Logan, our son, is because I don't want him to eat by himself. Even though he's right. Eating. One of us is one of us has to be there, you know, eating with him. And one of those things that I uh, that I started to notice is it's like it, it just came when you were mentioning, you know, you want to be there, not necessarily when you put him to bed, but at least when you wake up, is you know, kids figure kids are smart. I mean, I I, I think they absorb a lot too, and they learn. And you know, the 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 moment that you stop doing something. They all of a sudden kind of recognize that something is out of whack, something is out of norm. So it's it's awesome to see that, to know that even though they say you can't be there at the same time waking them up, you know, but at least you have the the I guess you you know that you have to somehow find a way or an alternative to get him to know that both parents are there, whether you know whether it be you know skyping. Uh, FaceTiming, or even going to the bathroom just to show say show that daddy or mommy is showering, and you say hi or whatever. I think that gives them that that ease that hey, you know, my day didn't start regularly, but it started, you know, in this similar similar to how it would be starting with seeing both my parents right. for yeah. my day and it- both my parents. You know what I mean? So, you know, I mean, we, I use the word tradition, the word tradition. But it could be something else. I mean, I'll be curious to, you know, when we when we start getting listeners and we start getting feedback, you know, I'll bring this up again and and or we'll bring it up again and see what our our listeners and and viewers are are 
you know want to share with us because we don't have any we don't have any viewers anymore we don't post the video feed well it, it still goes on youtube though no it doesn't oh it still does though the the the, the, the what you, I, I haven't stopped it from going on youtube not the video but the audio does oh the audio yeah so i said so we don't, but still we don't have viewers nigga if there's no video feed it's 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 weird saying it's weird saying YouTube and this sir, sir, sir. It's no, I hear well, you. No, I, but, I see but, you. Yeah, we can go on. Yeah, but like you said, kids are smart, man. Like even Grant, like that little time I was gone when I had to go to uh uh when I had to go to uh AT, like just him being that young, so he he. To equate that, you know, when you lock your car, that little boop, the little sound it makes when you double tap your alarm system, whatever. <laughs> he he has now equated that to either mommy or daddy's home, right? So whenever he hears that sound, he'll go to the window, and he'll look out, and you're like, okay, and he'll come back, you know, kind of like just like I don't see I don't see the person who I thought was coming, but I know that sound means that they should be coming, right? And I mean, it was kind of sad though, because I mean, more like, oh, he hears that little car noise, and he looks out the window to see if you're coming, and I know you're not coming, and then he kind of just sits there, and it's like, yeah, and or um, she didn't make yeah, it but, yeah, but, <laughs> yeah, but I know, just, I'm just I mean, I don't want to get to the sad part of it, but like you saying, kids are very smart. Kids are very, very smart. They, they, they just, yeah, they, they put one and two together much more clearly than we think. Much more oh. clearly. Oh, the garage opener, the trembling, the trembling yeah. of the noise the garage open makes, like it, not necessarily like the sound of the alarm or the clicking, but he knows that 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 that's, that that is a distinct sound to him. The garage opening, even though it's like a muffled sound to him, he knows that either mommy or daddy is home, and he goes and walks mm-hmm. to, to the door. And I'm like, now the opposite is if. If he hears a doorbell ring, because we don't use the front door at all, so and you know rarely the the doorbell rings, so that's a, that's a even though he still runs to the door, you could see that his reaction is one of those one that uh, he has his guard. Up, you know what I mean? So yeah. right. Yeah. All right. So we talked yeah. talk about sports, football. Your grandma, family. Yeah, I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that crackling coming back again. Trump, man, this fuck, this MacBook. I, I had my little computer. We didn't have any of these issues. Nah, man, it's got. I might just use. I might just use that to record. I might just use. I might just go and use the Asus to record. I had, we had none of these issues. I was able to play my music over the fucking computer. Anyway, now nah, I'm just complaining. That goes to show you that there was more Asians that died making that Acer than there was this Apple. <laughs> Apple needs to step the game up, though. Dog, there's not enough. There's not enough Asians dying. Not, <laughs> God damn it! So racist. So it's good though. <laughs> oh, hey, people, I don't think someone just, I don't think someone, just pushed, someone just pushed stop on this podcast right now. For real, I, I could. I know there's one person out there that's like, yo, I can't do this. I can't do this. They're like two minutes in. They're like, right, stop, delete. Hey, bro. Uh, so we're moving on, I guess. Ah, I forgot to send this shit to my notes app. But it's just like a, it's just like a fucking uh, a update to what we talked about last podcast with old Betty Shelby, that cop uh, down in Tulsa to kill kill that. Uh, oh wait, oh wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. Before you say, before you continue, because I, I think you're about to drop a dime on us. Hold on. Uh, I'm back now. But check this out, though. Before you before you continue. So, and, and this is going to be with this. So, please take your time to react. So, apparently, this dude, Terrence uh, Crutcher. Crutcher, is that his name? Mm-hmm. This, this kid, this guy was a pastor? I don't know if he was a nigga. He could be the devil, nigga. I wouldn't give a fuck. This, this nigga, he could have been the nigga. He could have had WM. He could have had WMDs in his truck, dog. That nigga could have been Saddam Hussein's fucking illegitimate son, nigga. I wouldn't care. 
That nigga's truck broke down in the middle of the road. And that bitch, that bitch killed him, dog. And he was a pastor, that's fine. I mean, the asshole in me wants to go where it was God. But anyway. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. So, uh, Betty Shelby, you hear what her attorney said? No, I haven't heard it. This is, this is, this will be the first time. This will be the first time. According to I, Betty I, Shelby. I heard that he was a pastor, bro. Everything, everything that they had to say, I was just like. Bro, bro, it, it's not even nothing to do about him. According to Betty Shelby's attorney, Officer Shelby had a temporary loss of hearing oh my during God, the God. Terrence Crutcher shooting. Hold on, bro. Attorney Scott Wood said that Shelby had experienced an auditory exclusion, a phenomenon that sometimes occurs in stressful situations because a person experiencing it is so focused on the critical incident. Because of this phenomenon, Wood claimed she did not hear the sirens of the other police car, nor did she hear Officer Tyler Tur- Turbon, Turbo, whatever the fuck his name is, Announce his presence. Say that he had his taser ready. So hold on, dog. So she didn't hear none of this shit. Another motherfucker ran up behind her, and she didn't shoot them. Hold Frank, up, dog. Uh, you, you, pa- Frank, 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 you, Frank, Frank, pause, Frank, 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 Frank. Skype's fucking up. Skype, Skype's fucking up. Hold on, get let it, let let it breathe for a minute. Let it breathe for a minute. Let it breathe for a second. You, you, no, I could hear you, but let it breathe for a minute. Dog, Frank. Go ahead. Frank, you're in a combat situation. You're having a auditory exclusion, my nigga. <laughs> I run up behind you, right? I run up behind you. You thought no one was behind you. Do I or do I not almost get shot? You might get shot. No, you will get shot, though. Like it, it, it's, this, just, it's just yeah, you you'll get shot though. But but doing all this trauma and all this auditory bullshit she's talking about, she seemed to be able to keep her weapon pointed at the nine threatening black man who she decided to shoot. But if you look at the video, bro, that shit makes no sense. So. I mean, look, Niggas shout out to it. shout out to the attorney, dog, because he's going, he's going. I mean, He's going in. He's he's going in. He's trying to get his name up on that up on that uh Bruh. Up, up on that firm. You know what I'm nah, saying? He's trying to get his name on the Johnny Cochran Wall of Fame, nigga. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I mean, I feel him. You know, much power to you, dog. But that goes to show you, though. I mean, I, I'll be curious to know what your sister thinks about that defense, though. I'll, I'll be curious to see what to to hear what your attorney, attorney lawyer, a lawyer sister of yours. Duke, hold on, dog. Hold on, 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 bro. Hold on, bro. This is the part that fucks me up. So this next paragraph that I read to you, <clears throat> understand this: we all about to get shot, nigga. White people, brown people, children, fucking puppies. Cause this all the cop got to say, nigga. Hear me out. Wood, the attorney went on to say that Shelby's actions in shooting Crutcher were justified because she believed oh. he had a gun. If you think someone has a gun, you don't get your taser out, he said. All the cop has to do is say, I believe you had a gun, nigga. She's going to jail, dog. She's going to jail. Nigga, all, nigga I, I'm just saying, understand, if she don't get no time, nigga, understand the precedence that... I mean, this other president, this bitch, <laughs> nigga, I thought he had a gun, so I shot him. Yeah, but but remember what I said. Remember what I opened up with when, when we talked about this, with this case. I said, all and everyone involved in that shooting or in that stop or in that recording that was a police officer need to be hung right then and there, though. Because if you look at the video, if you saying she had an audit- auditory lapse, whatever the fuck is that word is, I can't even say. Um, they all moved in tactically and tight. 
So, so, but she was the only one that pulled the gun. Everybody else pulled the taser out. So, and again, I I get it. She's a woman, so her picture is going to be right up on the, you know, they, they, they're going to blast her picture up. But if it was a white cop, I guarantee you that picture was not going to be there. We, we wouldn't know who that white, cop, a white was. cop. You mean you, you mean a, you mean a white male cop? White male cop. If, if it was a white male cop or or anything like that, we would have never known their identity though. But because of it's, well, if I, it's well, some minority, well, I know their identity. But I, I, I agree that that the media is much slower to put out information if it's a, a white male cop. Yeah, but but like I said, man, look, if she gets off, then they all have to get off. But if she gets hung, they all have to get hung, dog, because they all had a part in it, though. Whether they want to look, it comes down to this, bro. And I and I seen videos. I, I I go on Instagram. I go to World Star. They've been posting a lot of like two minute videos. Um, I seen the latest one of a cop pulling uh pulling over, uh, not pulling over, but he's like wrestling a high school kid while he's being recorded. He doesn't want to give him his identification, but so like now because he doesn't want to give him his identification, the cop tells him to get on the ground. And because the kid is like, yo, no, I'm not going to get on the ground. All of a sudden, he's hostile to him. Come on, bro. You right. have to. You have to. I mean. But, there, but there's, num- there's numerous. There's numerous. Case. It's like some of this shit. That's why I wish we had. Well, we won't have video, but at least the audio. Like you heard the uh, the audio. I forget where it was. But the, the police rolled up on a black man sitting in the car in the driveway who they thought was the person they was looking for. And so they rolled up on him, and they said the guy's name. He was like, nah, that's not me. And he's like, uh, well, we got a warrant for your arrest. And he was like, well, let me see it. And not, like, like you said, though, all of a sudden, because he showed his knowledge of the law, first of all. Yeah, right. <laughs> and then didn't just bow down. He said, no, nah, nigga, let me see that warrant. He getting tased. No yeah. gun, no weapon, wasn't belligerent. Didn't come out the vehicle. Showed his hands at all times. But he was like, "No, nah, I don't know. I'm not. That's not me. And if you got a warrant for my arrest, you need to let me see it." You well, know yeah. What I'm uh, what's the, what's the, and there's another video going around. I'm think it's probably I think it's like a year old, but still, all these videos are now coming to light. And now getting more press because of you know all these shootings. There was a man who was sitting on his mama's black man, of course, sitting on his mama's porch waiting for her to come home. The cops come. I guess one of the neighbors called him. The cops come, and he's like, "Nah, I'm just, you know, waiting for my mom to come home." And this nigga find himself on the ground getting tased. There's another video I saw where cops pull a guy out of the video, and it doesn't really show the reason why he was pulled over, and that's not really important. But they had him restrained. He wasn't. He wasn't fighting. They had his arm behind him. He wasn't fighting. Wasn't kicking. And they slam his face so hard into the fucking window, it breaks the fucking window of the cop car, nigga. Yeah. I mean, that's... It's but, sad, but, but, but niggas, 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 niggas just supposed to be docile and just take this shit, dog. When, and it's like... <laughs> when, no, when, like I said last week, I'm just tired, dog. When niggas rise up, dog, it's nigga, white people, y'all out there, go watch Planet of the Apes. Well, I that's think all that movie was, that's, that's all that movie was about when niggas finally had enough and they just rise the fuck up. And I think this, I think this was gonna end up happening, bro. It's like you know, a lot of these like recordings are being done by like the the point of view uh, or or like a civilian uh, point of view or whatever. You know, a lot of times you're gonna start seeing these uh, uh, unlawful um, or nonsensical. Um, arrests being or or detains being being pulled that in broad daylight that people are people like spectators are gonna be like yo cop what the fuck are you doing he ain't doing anything what are you talking about resisting arrest what are you talking about he's a threat to you he's just well, a kid well, I mean we, we... what I what I, what what I'm is what's gonna end up happening bro people civilians are gonna start uprising not just black folks. But people in the right sense of in the right mindset, uh, they're gonna start coming and and approaching these cops. And this is what I'm telling you, man. It's like, you know, these these quote unquote protective uh, these laws that are, are are there to protect these cops. You know, 
that's just gonna have to go away, man. I mean, I I know it's not gonna happen from one day to the next, but but I no. think it's gonna one of those things that look like in England, in London, in the city of London that, that they do foot patrols. They don't carry guns; they carry a baton and a taser because they know right, that they you, know but, they know the risk. But we talked about happen. a long time ago. We, we talked about a long time ago of police actually patrolling, patrolling, living in these areas where they are quote unquote serving and protecting right I mean it's one thing for me to ride around my police car all day and just see you as others another thing when I'm walking the beat walking up and down the street like my mom used to do for many years when she was on the police department and knowing the people in that community yeah. and people go oh well it's a different time different era nigga my mom was a cop in the Kansas City Missouri Police Department in the 80's nigga the 80's was the crack era dog crack was in Kansas City dog bodies was piling up in Kansas City too don't get it twisted dog we, we made during that 80's uh, late 80's early 90's we was making we was making top 10 some years also as far as like homicides but police were still out there patrolling those areas. So, I mean, and I, I mean, I don't know what the fix is. You can't want me to respect you, respect your badge, respect your authority, respect your rank, whatever the fuck, when I know for a fact you don't respect me. And then you can say, well, no, I respect you, but I know for a fact that your buddies don't respect me and you ride with them niggas. So how can I still respect you when you ride with motherfuckers who don't respect me? Well, but here's the thing, though. I mean, we're both military. You're still in the military. And at the end of the day, I respect. We, we were taught that you respect the rank not the, or the position, not necessarily the person. You give respect that that, that is, uh, that what is it? Respect. Um, you don't respect you, the rank, not the person. But, but, that, but right. that shit only goes so far. But here, here's what I'm saying, though. Like, here's the caveat to that shit is like, you can't teach that shit in law enforcement academy or in school and expect that shit to translate to the civilians because even my brothers, dog, my two younger brothers, they don't understand that, you know, a CO is a CO. That captain, the captain or officer is an officer, though. I'm going to show respect to that rank. I don't might not give three fucks about that general in charge, but at the end of the day, I'm going to give three fucks about that three star. I'm a, I'm I'm gonna have a little bit of respect for that star before I have a respect for that for that person, that individual, and and you can't expect that shit to translate. I know a lot of people that come out of the academy, though they, you know, in the academy, you know, you respect your rank, but when you come out to the streets, though, you a sergeant, though, but you ain't shit to everybody else, though. Your sergeant stripes don't mean, sh- or your corporal stripes don't mean shit to that person that you're pulling over, though, because they don't know the structure. They don't know what that. They don't. They don't know what you've been taught. It's not the, what the fuck is that, though. What's up? That your microphone, dog? Yeah, dog. That's the blue. Stupid, stupid, dude. But anyway, <laughs> so yeah, man. Like I mean, I, I, I ultimately think, you know, this is what it's gonna come down to. I think there's gonna be an inherent risk that you're gonna. You're gonna have to take, and, and the 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 law, the law enforcement and departments are gonna have to take. Though it's like, you know, hey, the moment. Right, but the thing, but the thing is, though, law enforcement they, they, they keep wanting to push the narrative of uh, this war on cops, but cop killings have been down across the, the cop killings in the last. I gotta get the, the data, but I know over the last couple of years, cop killings have been down. Period. Yeah. But what has gone uh, up I, is civilians civilians dying at the hands of police officers. Yeah, I think I think it's gonna end up have to be um I mean you're gonna have to put a restriction on those guns, dog. Like, you know, you're gonna walk around with a taser now. Like that's what you're gonna walk around with. And your gun is that, gonna that be in never, your back trunk. Never, because that it, never it, happened or, here. or I mean I think I I mean, I'm, but, but, I, don't, I don't expect it to happen on a uh, from one day to the next, but I think eventually we're going to lead to that, man. It's going to be like, hey, look, it's either if you decide to carry your handgun and the moment that you put your gun, your hand on your gun, you have to, I mean, there has to be an ROE, dog, like a standard. Right, but I, think, I, think that's still a cop, I think that's still a cop-out. Training cops better to handle 
stressful situations, train them how to deal with people, train them how to recognize people who are under duress, people who are dealing with uh, mental health issues. I think that goes a lot further than just saying you can't carry a gun because there are a lot of people who have died in police custody who weren't shot. Let's not forget that also. I get that, man, but like until I... I mean, I, I know what you're saying. I hear you, but I think... Um, I, th- I, think, I, goes, think- I think what we're saying goes hand in hand. Yes, there should be a limit on whatever you want to say as far as like firearms, but I still think it goes, it comes to actually training the person to react and deal with situations. Also a little cultural fucking diversity. So you got these cops who don't see brown people, black people, women as just others. Cause if I see you as a other, I'm not going to care what happens to you. No matter if, no matter if I tase you to death, which happens, no matter if I choke you to death, which happens a fucking lot. No matter if I shoot you in the back or shoot you in the chest or say, oh, I had a fucking auditory exclusion. I couldn't hear anything, but I still decided to shoot you while you reached into a window that wasn't open. Yeah, I mean, damn. I mean, I, I, I know this. We're, we're, we're searching for a right or wrong way, a uh, uh, right approach. But, I, you know, I, I'll give you my own little, my own little, um, I guess experience, man. It's a, so we, you know, you, you know, you, you get into country, even before you get into country, you get all this, uh, uh, culture, culture, uh, um, information or whatever and, and ethnicity information. Which are bullshit. It, yes. I mean, but to me, I took you, you it to heart. Racist, that, you, you, you give a racist two hours of training, it's still going to be a racist with, with more education. Yeah. But, you know, we get a, We got a lot of education too. And, but, you know, on, under normal circumstances, we probably abide by that about ninety five percent of the time, and and I'm being real generous with ninety five percent of the time. But during a court on in search, when when it's already heightened, it's a, we've already been shot at, especially when we're in a a, a uh, an extraction point. Um, you, you know, we have we're out in the open. All of a sudden, we're getting shot at from one side, from you know, like let's say, there's no, no, the east side or whatever, and we're already on high and alert. We can't, we we don't return fire because we can't see where it's coming from. We know we could hear where it's coming, and we could hear the ding dings off of and the ping pings off of the ricochet off of our armor uh, inside the vehicles and all that stuff. But we don't, we can't identify where exactly the the threat is coming from or is that. Um, so. We're already heightened. So here comes this civilian vehicle. Uh, you know, they're come they're making a hard a hard left a hard left turn. Their house is just two houses down. We don't fucking know that shit. We already on on, on high alert. This shit just happened. And guess what, dog? That car on the on the west side just got lit up and everybody in the vehicle got got a bullet or, or nine in them already. Granted, we went in back and de-escalated. We called a medevac and all that shit for them, provided care. Luckily, no one died. But they have, you know, we, like I said, look, all that teaching, all that training is going to, I'm not saying that it's not going to come in handy. I think it's going to come in handy and it's going to have effect. But I think you have to eliminate the possibility before first, and then do the training, or you could do it simultaneously, though. You know what I'm saying? To have a more uh, effect or desired effect, because the moment that you continue to give these, just like how you were saying, though, like you're giving us these bullshit ass briefing, this bullshit ass education. Some of us are gonna absorb it and actually live by this shit. You know what I mean? Go buy it, or some of us are gonna be like, you know what? Rely on our fucking prejudices, and then just say, hey, I felt threatened. Right, but the one thing the military does is they actually take money and and they hold you accountable. Yeah. Right, that's what I'm saying though. So so still though, even with all that, you got your weapons, you got your training, there still is another layer to that. You st- so here you guys are all out there with all these weapons. You, you guys aren't walking the streets of Iraq with tasers and batons. You're still out there, but there's some over your head saying, if I get out here and this shot or this shooting is not justified, I might lose my rank, I might lose my pay, I might go to jail. Yeah. 
So I'm saying, and, and, so there's and, and, and that's still, what needs that's what needs to happen right now. Like there's there right, has but, to but, be real accountability, real accountability. Right. So back to my point of saying, just taking weapons away from officers who have no accountability isn't going to do anything. There's going to be some internal investigation. I mean, if 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 if, if somebody wants to kill a nigga, they're going to kill a nigga. Right. I mean, in the day, or I'm sorry, a civilian, because I, I mean, still to me, the, the bigger end game of all of this, and people will say, "Oh, you're paranoid," or whatever. The bigger end game of all of this is a police state where we've been so subdued and dummy down that no one questions the killing of anyone by the police. So right now, it's just niggas and brown people, right? Then it'll be poor white people, and before you know it, it'll be anyone who questions any other, any law, any authority in your local state. And also onto the federal government, it's slowly but surely getting there, right? Because what's happening is you got pe- you got people who even brown people, black people, women who make excuses for the police department to say, "Well, there has to be something that was wrong. The police just wouldn't do that." Right. And I believe. That. I mean, that, that, to me, that, that's that's the, that's the next level of the game, right? For me, but right now I'm dealing with your people, my people getting killed that's what i'm doing right now but i also can see the next level of the game is we start seeing these poor whites right maybe right. maybe cover asian people here and there right flying and Asians. slowly but surely slowly but surely they go they'll start, they'll start getting the same treatment that that me and your people get oh what are they doing oh here's a picture of this motherfucker holding the gun here's a picture of this motherfucker uh Flipping the camera off. Here's a picture of this motherfucker smoking a joint in Colorado or some shit that's that's just stupid and legal. But for some reason, your, your ass is too stupid to question the fact that why is this picture even being posted right now? And before you know it, you can't question no law. Yeah, I'm paranoid. I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> I, wrote, I, I took my mama's car to Texas with my motherfucking strap in my lap. I saw that. <laughs> I saw that I should not. No, I mean, hey, the, you know, I, I, I just think that it is, nigga. To, I think, I think, you know, me personally, I think it's going to be one of these, man. And like, I, I keep going back to that safety briefing or that shift briefing. Dog. I'm going to be like, if I'm a commander of a, of a law enforcement unit or whatever, dog, I'm going to be like, hey, you put your hands on your gun, you put your gun out. You better know what the but fuck you're shooting. But you'll, ne- you'll, you'll never make it to that level because people will know where you would stand. And even though right. where you stand is right, there <laughs> you just wouldn't make it there, man. There's so many levels of bullshit that keep. I want to say. No, keep people I hear you. Who, people, people who want to do the right thing, it keeps them out of certain positions of power. And then I think what happens is they get beat. They get beat upon. And then other people who would who who would side with them say, Well fuck, there's no money to be made in that. But then we gotta get to a point where we say it's not about the money and going back to you yawning, wake up nigga. But going back to what we were saying beforehand, we were talking about uh, traditions and all that shit, your community, right? Giving back to your community. What are you doing for your community? Is 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 I mean, I know we all gotta eat, but if but if you eating and the world around you is burning, what good is that? Well, I mean, what good is that if, if, if me, Roger Winston, I'm sitting up in my motherfucking pink house eating filet mignon, nigga, and Grant fat, he covered in chicken grease, and Maury, she got whatever the fuck she want to eat. Probably going to be the, the freshest kale or whatever because she on that health shit. You know, and I'm drinking top shelf. I'm drinking top shelf vodka. But if the world around me is burning, nigga, what good is all of that? Yeah. I mean, and that's where we at right now. Like, like to, to my my few, if I, I don't know if pe- the five people who are listening. If you got cop friends, I get you got a job. But if the cities, if the streets, if the neighborhoods that you walk every day, if they're burning to the ground because nobody trusts you. What good is that silence? What good is that fucking that blue line that you refuse to cross? What good is that shit? Anyway. Well, of course, yeah. I mean that you know I I know that there, there's that blue line shit that right now everybody's going, and I get it, whatever. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna tell you like this, dog. And, and you're right, dog. If you live in the community, you know what's right. You know what's going on. Hey, look, man. I don't have to go to the east side of Topeka to know that there's some something. 
wrong is going on all the fucking time though. And all the time. I know I, I know that and I know that there's neighborhoods that you know, you know who the dope man is, you know who the wee man is, you know who you know you know who that person is though. And a lot of the times though they don't go after it because they that's the lowest on the on the totem pole though. You know what I mean? They don't go after that because hopefully they can lead them to the, the next bigger fish or whatever. So they ignore that because think about it, bro. If if I know who the wee man is and I don't know much, yeah, but the, I don't but know the, a lot. The, the wee man, that's a horrible, that's a horrible one or two. But I'm saying though, you, you know what I mean though. Like, you know, like right. if, if it, I, I would be naive, for example, like, let's say if I, all of a sudden I smoke going in and light 12 kilos, right? And I, and I live in the same neighborhood. I start slanging as 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 smart or as you know uh, a far away that I want to do it from here. I may meet somebody over there, and, you know, and give it to somebody else to to go ahead and meet you at the car, or whatever. Eventually, they're gonna trace this shit down to me though, and they're not gonna come and bust me until. You know, a they got enough on me to 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 you know lock me up for good or for a long ass time, or b you know they're gonna try to let me go continue on doing my shit until I could with the hopes that I could lead them to like a bigger fish, you know, a bigger connect. Because to me, the local level, they still see me as a small time nigga, even though I'm like slanging like twelve to fifteen kilos a day. You know what I mean? They want to be like, okay, well, where them, well, where them twelve to fifteen kilos coming from? We want that nigga. Let's 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 infiltrate this nigga. I, I I'm being facetious right now with with it, dog, and I'm being real, real ignorant with it, dog. But I'm saying that like, you look at all the all the dirty shit that goes on around you, dog, and you're like, yo, this person got pulled over because they got fucking traffic tickets warrant. Like the fuck. Like they're not hurting anybody, like physically or literally. But yeah, you have this dope man. You know what a dope. You know what a dope house is. You know what a dope house is. You know that if you go there and, and, and post up, you gon' you you gonna get a hit. So I don't know. Part of it is 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 is, is um, they play that game of let's see what it leads us to. To see where the trail and uh, uh, leads us to. But, right, but I mean, I mean, I mean, that's that's different than just being out here killing niggas, though. So, yeah, that's different. Let that let, letting letting um, <laughs> like a, a virus or a bug continue to grow, so we can study it and then figure out a way to kill it. I mean, that 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 uh, exterminate it. That's totally different than. We just we just out here riding, and anyone who, who we think may have a gun, we're shooting. It, it's totally different. It's totally different. Well, no, no. What I'm saying is that, like, it, like in other words, we can't say that the the police, law enforcement, they don't use logic. You know what I mean? We can't say that. We can't say that shit anymore because they use logic. Oh, I'm not saying that. Certain... Oh, they use logic. They use logic. Yeah. yeah the, the logic. The, the logic is though. The worst thing, so I mean, the worst thing that may happen to me, outside of a few extreme cases, is I get to go home with pay. It's very logical, especially if I kill some some black dude, black woman, brown person. It's very logical that it's very logical for me to believe that I might get the next week off, pay leave, and then yeah. I come back. Might be a month of a month of desk time at the same pay rate. Right. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's great. I mean, I can only imagine at my job it was like, oh, I fucking pushed too hard on a fucking sheet that I was putting into some fucking someone growing, and then I fucking dissected their vein, and it's like the only thing bad that would happen to me is that I get to go home for a week and still get my same amount of pay. Oh, nigga, niggas, niggas would be getting they fucking veins <laughs> dissected week in, week out, nigga. And then it's like, yeah. oh, we can't, we can't fire Roger, even though this nigga is fucking, fucking dissecting niggas, fucking femoral veins left and right. 
Well, we gotta put him at a desk inside the clinic. You know, he does his type. <laughs> and he still get, and he still gets his same fucking his same fucking rate of pay, nigga. I mean, I don't know, dog. I don't know. We, we should just move on, bro. It's getting late. We, we didn't we we didn't put about a good hour plus some change in. Yeah, this episode ain't gonna go up until Wednesday. I thought I was gonna be able to get it out tomorrow morning, but fuck that. Why you wanna get out to tomorrow? I ain't staying up to edit this shit, dog. What's today? I mean, oh, I mean, well, Wednesday's fine. Tomorrow will be Tuesday. You may sound like nigga yeah. like next week, nigga. Wednesday's fine. No, I mean, I may get it out tomorrow but, night. So, so when do you leave? When do you leave again? Uh, the sixth October sixteenth, right? Yeah. Yeah, no, we try to get on at least two more, two more times. Oh no, I mean no, we could get back on on Wednesday, dog. It just what was we it? You called it? We need to research, but but we need to research this shit, dog. As far as like how to get this shit working, dog. Nigga, how the fact? How is it that I I just got my MacBook, nigga, and I'm recording this shit, and you ain't? I'm disappointed, Frank. I'm disappointed. Nigga, what are you looking at, nigga? Well, I don't know, because you must be talking to somebody behind me, dog. Because I've been doing my work, too, dog. I just I give up kind of easy, though. No, nah, man, that shit gets you. frustrating, dog. You know, you know, I just, man, because I tried that, man, I tried that line and shit. Hey, dog. I just, I just finally dog, gave it to this. All I know is, this. is that, dog, my Asus, dog, my, my window PC wasn't as hard, dog. Nah, I mean, I know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm probably going to get on these tweet streets. How some niggas like uh L uh L B bro- L damn it the L brothers dog I know he he be doing like mixtapes and shit on his fucking garage band so I know I'm, I'm I, like, see, I seen I DM, seen that probably. I seen that because yeah because you know because yeah, uh, you know because you know me and you because me, huh? me and you we're trying to we're, we're trying to do this as the least expensive to our pockets oh nigga. It's oh, possible. nigga, we nigga, we but are the, <laughs> nigga, we are the four fiesta, we are the four fiesta podcast, dog. <laughs> I mean, it took it took us what two, but you know, talking in depth to commit to this, to commit to the streaker for a whole year, so we don't have a limit it, on that shit. That's a that's a that's a tank, nigga. That's streaker. <laughs> streaker, whatever. You know whatever. Streaker. You know what I, mean? <laughs> I mean, I know what you mean. They out here nah, raping nah, us, nah, though. Nah. They out here just making oh, money nigga. from out of thin air, dog. Nah, I, I definitely, I just need someone. To, you said you got that one app, dog, but a nigga, def, I just want to be able to turn my motherfucking shit on, be able to turn on Skype, <laughs> see my nigga, and then like if if it's shit that I play on my computer, it also gets picked up on the fucking. I don't understand this. The computer is picking up my voice. Why the fuck when I play Spotify, <laughs> you don't hear none of that shit, dog? I just, nigga, it don't make sense to me, dog. None of it does. If, it, if my son comes out here and starts crying, he'll pick that shit up. But they won't pick up nigga. the sound that's playing through the speakers on my computer. They won't, pick, they won't pick that shit up, dog. I'm like, what the fuck, dog? But like I said, nigga. I got that, you know, I got that sound siphon. Uh, I pay for it. You know, I obviously I gotta look it up. I mean, once it's set up, it's supposed to work the way you just explained it. Um, you know, once we'll it's set up, but the setting up is like a motherfucker, though. You know, but you know, like I said, I'm on, I'm on, I'm on, I pay for this, so this is a paid one. So I got a little bit more patient with this one, right? Because these free ones, right. man, you man, I'm like, man, I'm gonna go find another free one. Nah, the, the shit, the shit worked. I'm <laughs> using it; it worked. I mean, we'll see once I push stop. We'll probably get done. <laughs> None of this shit has been recorded, nigga. You be I might talking to yourself. MacBook out the window, dog. You, you, nigga. You be talking. <laughs> nigga, I'm, I'm going to put this MacBook in the oven, nigga. This MacBook <laughs> going in the motherfucking oven, dog. Because the next, cause the, cause nah. the next thing I'm going to do, dog, it's just, it's just going to be like, hey, you know what? You know, it, uh, every day, or not every day, but every day that we're going to record, I'm just going to, instead of like coming home, make a right to come home on I-70, I'm gonna make a left mm-hmm. on I seventy to to go to your crib, dog. And then I'll just wait for your ass. We'll sit down, and record for an hour, and then I'm gonna bust at home, dog. Cause and then we'll record. Yeah, Mor- who is that? Mori Mori brought that up, like saying that we should try to 
I don't know if it's mid. Well, le- the legend isn't midway. Not at all. It's just much closer to me. But like, find a spot that has Wi-Fi. The niggas just sit and talk. I said, "See, you can come here. It doesn't matter." But I mean, we never done one locally. And then when I come up there for drill, I mean, you always have to leave because of the baby. Oh shit, my bad. <laughs> Live podcasting. Yeah. Not like nigga, you didn't burp to the phone. <laughs> on the phone, the mic. I'm starting to get sleepy though. I gotta get up at like seven. Nigga worked like a hundred hours last pay period. <laughs> I feel you know. So anyway, hey, so no, this, I, need, I need I need that money. I need that smart square money, dog. That's twenty five plus on top of the overtime. No, I feel you though. I, I hear just, you. Oh hey. yeah, oh yeah. I just bought a new car, so how's that? How's that? How's that monthly payment going? Going to be like? Hey, dog, nigga, I ain't so so forty five. No, actually, yeah, forty five days for the first payment. It's like three three forty. Let me tell you something, dog. Uh, that's I have decent, driven though. That's all weekend. Decent, that's decent, especially when I say I got decent credit. I mean, that's another thing I want to get on the car. I need to build my credit up and, you know, financing the car is one of the quickest ways to do that shit outside of a fucking house. But if you got bad credit, it's hard to get a house. So cars and all that other shit is a good way to do it. Plus, nigga, I mean, I probably need to get a credit card, but I ain't had one since fucking um, probably about 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, so I've been paying all that shit off trying to get my credit right. Anyway, the nigga want a house like in the next five years. But, uh, but yeah, man. Yeah, it's just, yeah. the biggest thing for me, though, dog, is like, you know, I had that Ford Exploder, dog. Yeah, Ford Exploder. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nigga, I drove, let's see, I picked that bitch up from Lawrence on Friday. From Lawrence, right? Uh, I ain't put no gas in that motherfucker, dog, and I've been driving. What, the Ford Explorer? No, no, no. I, I, the Ford Explorer got traded in for the 2016 Kia Optima. Okay, yeah, yeah. Shameless, shameless, shameless free plug. But no, uh, Kia, Kia be yeah, on bro. it, dog. Dog, Nick, dog, dog. <laughs> when I got that motherfucker and it tells me the uh, the 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 miles I drove for that trip and the yeah. average miles per gallon, and that motherfucker say like thirty something, nigga. I, I damn it! I damn it! Came in my shorts today, dog. I was getting like at least I think I was getting seventeen, maybe sixteen city, and probably about twenty twenty one on the highway. And, and niggas be like, "Hey, dog, you should come out." I'm like, "Nigga, I'm not going nowhere, dog. I get twenty, I get twenty fucking miles to the gallon, dog. Unless my, unless my uh, Maury, my my, the, you know Maury." Let she come home. Let me drive her car, nigga. I can't come. <laughs> nah, yeah, no, nah, I got you know, you know, I got that, I got that Silverado fifteen hundred dog. Like, I mean, it tells you. I mean, it's a, it's a two thousand fifteen, so it tells you, you know, like gas mileage and shit. So I try to put that shit on the, the economical one and put that shit on cruise control when I get on the highway. It says still says fucking fifteen though on highway. Yeah. I'm like, damn. But Jamie got a new Malibu because right. you know her brother, her brother like looked out for us. I ain't gonna lie, so she traded her Impala in for the Malibu. And you know and, those new Malibus are built on the same frame as the fucking uh, Kia's dog for the most part. Yeah, yeah. And I man, I drove that shit to work because I you know I I commute sixty two miles from from Topeka to Leavenworth yeah. dog. And dog, yeah. it said I was waiting for it to say like eighteen, nineteen, no. It said thirty one. Matter of fact, it went up. Though it was, she had it. In, uh, uh, she had it city miles at twenty eight. Tell me why highway no twenty, no twenty nine. And what highway? My shit kept it kept climbing up though to like thirty three though. I was like, man, I want oh, yeah, like, like the, 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 the dial barely moved though, and I was like, I'm driving your car all the time now. Like, bro, it just makes bro, much fucking I, sense I drove- though. Nigga, I drove from Lawrence on Friday down to the city for football practice with my twins. Took them home to Lee Summit. Drove back home to Olathe. Got up. Drove back out to where we played at, which is kind of close to Lee Summit. out by Longview, whatever. Drove back home. Then drove out to Lee Summit, my nigga. Picked my daughter up. Drove back here. On Sunday, drove back to Lee Summit, my nigga. 
<laughs> Drove back in. Then went to work Monday. Today. Still got still got more than a fucking quarter tank of gas, dog. Nigga. That's good, dog. Hey. Nigga. This... My Ford Explorer, dog, I would been, nigga, I had to fill up on that last trip back to Lee Summit, dog. It would my, my truck would be like, nigga, do you want to be stranded? <laughs> You would have been like, hold up, do I really need to spend time with my daughter? Do I really? Nah, do I really? Do I really need to see Zakia? Do I really need to see her this weekend? <laughs> now you're like, hey, now, now you're like, yeah. yo. Now, now you're like, yo. And, need a ride? Need a ride? And, I, and, pick then, up? and then I hate. And then I hate just buy, I hate buying cars, man, because they try to fuck you, dog. Like you got to play so many mental games, you motherfuckers, dog. Nigga, I went from. These niggas talking about I need a two thousand dollar down payment, right? Right. To I was going to Shiny Mission Kia, and then Lawrence uh, Kia. To these niggas debating over whether it's gonna be a hundred dollars total or five hundred total, bro. Right. Like how the fuck we get here, dog? How we yeah. get? How we get from y- y'all initial? And like I said, first of all, I knew my credit. I said my credit ain't a one, but it ain't fucked up. Y'all coming to me the first time this can be talking about some need two thousand dollars down, trading on your truck, and your payment's gonna be like four forty. I was like, all right, man, I holler at you. Oh, hold on, let me go back right. to my manager. They come back out with like you know fifteen hundred. <laughs> then they said like it was like three eighty. I said, Y'all getting closer, not close enough. But I'm gonna go out to Lawrence Kia. These niggas came out the same bullshit. So that Friday, man, these motherfuckers are literally having a bidding war through text messages on my phone, dog. Well, you have to because I, that's what that's what my uh, my brother in law told me. So we talked to him in the middle of September, right? We're trying to get yeah. our turn our vehicle, but he said, "Hold, you know, wait. You know, if you ain't trying to do it now, just wait towards the end of the month. Because at the end of the month, if they don't meet their quota, all oh, of a sudden, month, yeah, yeah, all of a sudden, like like the fucking skies open up, like nigga, like hey, one penny, you could take it." One penny. That's how we were able to get our shift to like two ninety nine. Yeah, I mean, we just happened yeah, to you know be I, at that at that time. Though it's like it's crazy. Yeah, I, God, I, I'm like, I, I had I, I had I had two thousand in the bank set aside for the down payment. But I said, fuck that, nigga. I'm lying, dog. I told him I ain't got it. I said I ain't got the down payment, dog. And I don't right. care if they listen, nigga. I lied. <laughs> I lied. I said I ain't got it. I said I got a hundred dollars <laughs> today. I got a hundred dollars today. What can y'all do, nigga? And so, and basically, so even though they wanted five hundred down, which was like damn near seven hundred dollars down initially, even they wanted five hundred dollars down in Lawrence, it's a 2016 as opposed to Shiny Mission Kia, who was still talking about a thousand for 2015. I was like, mm, that shit don't add up. I holler at y'all later, and so that's why I went, I went with the uh, yeah 2016 from uh, fucking Lawrence dog. But they still was on that bullshit dog. So I told him I said, yeah, "Here's a hundred dollars today. I'll, I'll pay y'all y'all other four hundred on Friday, just to see, yeah. <laughs> just to be an ass, just to be an asshole since y'all made me drive out to this motherfucker twice." Yeah, and you know what's funny though is that they, they, they probably were like, "We could have delivered this to your house." Probably. They probably would have. Yeah, probably because they probably would have. Cause I'm like, cause yeah, I ain't gonna lie though, dog. I, I, I might, I might, I might be a Kia fan for life, dog. These motherfuckers is nice, bro. Now you see why old boy dunked over Kia. <laughs> he was like, uh... oh, that that big motherfucker can't fit. <laughs> he his big ass can't fit no motherfucking Kia, dog. And LeBron can't fit in that the new big ass Kia that they got. And like, what they got that new Genesis oh, or whatever the fuck. That- no, that's Hyundai. Hyundai got the Genesis. I think Kia got they got that K nine hundred, bro. Yeah, it's just nice. Oh, they though. got the they got the Cadenza. They got they got the Cadenza too. The Cadenza, Cadenza is, Wait, is that is that Hyundai or is that Kia? No, the Whatever. Cadenza is Kia. The Genesis is Hyundai. Okay, so either way, I mean they're nice, dog. Yeah. But nah. but nah, hey, 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 the gas struggle is real, dog. Even though the gas is like affordable right now. I mean, it's still, I mean, hey, though, hey, I'd rather see 30, 32, 32 miles. Right now, I'm doing, like, a ride share. I'm, I'm commuting to work with, with uh, like, some shit that the government pays, though. But still, though, though, it's... 
I hate I hate right I hate comedian with I hate carpooling with people dog. That's nah. another that's another topic. You, anytime, you, anytime you turn the car off, that motherfucker tells you how far you drove and what your average miles was. For that trip, nigga, and that bitch say thirty one point eight, nigga. I'd be like, ooh, <laughs> <laughs> you made a good like, choice. You're like, can I can I go to want to go to the store? I can go to the store right quick. You want me to go get that? You need that right now? Yeah, <laughs> you volunteering to go everywhere shit. and shit. And then, you know, usually, but the sad thing is though. So usually, you know, nigga, get a new car, and nigga, you want to go ride around, you know, whatever. Especially on the week, especially you get a car on the weekend on a Friday. I'm going to go ride around a little bit on the weekend. I didn't. I don't, I didn't want to get shot by the police. Nah, dog. You get the car. You just, get the car just, just, just to come home and you be like, and stare at it. I just think I just stare at it, dog. I said, I don't want there to be no, I don't want there to be no issues. Especially what happened was, cause I, I was, I was literally, a, cause uh, Lawrence kid didn't call me back. So I called uh, my insurance company Called uh, I called uh, Shine Mission Kia, got the pin, got the not pin number, damn the VIN number, had that shit added to my fucking insurance, right? So right. then the next day, I bought a car from Shiny, I bought a car from fucking uh, Lawrence uh, Kia. So I'm driving home, I'm paranoid like a motherfucker because the the car on the insurance, the VIN numbers don't match up. This is 2016. I said, man, they gonna pull me over and shoot me in the back of the head, dog. So this nigga <laughs> stole this car. <laughs> nah, nah, it, there is a. Uh... They they explain that shit to me, but you're right though. That, that that makes more sense. You got you got you, you have th- you have thirty days to change it legally, whatever with a blah blah. I, I I get it, but if they can shoot a nigga who was trying to reach into a win- <laughs> as they say reach into a window that wasn't open, they can definitely shoot a nigga who got who's driving around in a brand new car. The VIN numbers don't match up, nigga. <laughs> That's right, that. Man. So all right, so so we need to start wrapping this shit up, bro. It's hey, I don't have. I gotta get I, up. I, I, get this. The shut up pussy award segment, whatever. I don't have the shut up pussy segment with the golden dick award. I don't have anybody, um, but I'm pretty sure you do. I, I'm not. I don't. I, I don't have as far as like individuals to give the the right dicks to or the right nods to. But I'm definitely gonna get a few nominees in here. We already talked. We, we I think we mentioned them. Nate Parker. Uh, I'm not going to Mister. I'm not going to apologize. For rape accusation. Yo, and I can't believe you know what? said that shit. Bruh, I, I, a part of me he understands said, that. He said he was acquitted. I, I, I get what you're saying. I'm, I, I, he was falsely accused and was proven innocent. His homeboy, what is his name? John, Gene, how you pronounce it, who was a wrestling. You know, that nigga went to Penn State. <laughs> Funny. We just talking about them uh, last week. Uh with the Penn State, he was a, his in the wrestling. I didn't know he realized he wrestled, but a wrestling teammate, John Celestine, who was a collaborator on this movie he got coming out, Birth of a Nation, he was found guilty, but it was at, but then it was overturned on appeal. And he was a collaborator, so he you know he's gonna get paid. He's not an executive. No, no, but he was, no, he he was a collaborator. You know, you know, he has a so, so that's been part of the conspiracy coming out. Is that he has this new movie, Birth of a Nation, coming out? Uh, Nate Parker, in the collab, in his his boy, John Celestine, mm-hmm. he is a collaborator on that movie, right? Because he's gonna get paid off of that movie too. He told him, "I got right. you. You got twenty five percent of this." And don't get me wrong. If, and don't get me wrong. At first, it's like that, that. At first, that inner part of me, that that <laughs> paranoid part of me, that everybody is conspiring against the black man. I was like, man, these motherfuckers just. They just they just want to bring this movie down, but then this nigga started talking, and I'm just mm-hmm, like, mm-hmm, yeah, I'm like, wow, this nigga just, mm-hmm. and like I said, man, you you could just shut the fuck up, man. And, yeah. and and to me, the saddest part is 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 uh, what's lost in all of this is, uh, the accuser, uh, the lady. I don't, what, I don't say her name. Yeah, she dead. Yeah, She's been dead for five years, though. She's been yeah, she committed suicide years. in 2012. And I'm yeah. saying she committed suicide in 2012. That's the saddest part of it, though. And here's the thing, though. Let's say, let's just say you were falsely accused, right? Let's just say I don't get whatever. This woman believed that something wrong happened, and her life was was tormented for numerous years, man. Why can't you just pay respect to that? 
I don't want to talk about it. Up. I already discussed it. I already discussed it yesterday. I don't want to talk about it no more. But but you are talking about it. I don't want to talk about it. I just discussed it yesterday. You should have listened to the interview yesterday. Now you could just be. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> there's so many, even even if we even if we even if we go with him, even if you say, even if we weren't there, but we believe that he didn't do it. You still there with a nigga who got accused of rape. You still there with a nigga who did time. Even though later on, through appeal, he was acquitted. Nigga, something shady happened. Yeah. Something shady happened, dog. And the fact that this woman took her own life, man, it's just... To be so yeah. callous and just be like, it's all about me. I mean, you you you, you could be a sounding board for 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 I don't know rape awareness, rape advocacy. I don't know what you what you would what you how you term it, but someone who says someone who can be like men need to be more responsible as far as their actions of themselves and their friends, so that these misunderstandings or these things don't happen. However you want to word it, because the fact remains that something shady happened, and this woman felt she it's obvious she felt that she was she was raped and something wrong happened or i don't know if the social the stigma got to her and that that's what later led her to take her own life but there was something there something there where she felt like she didn't want to be here man that's that's just heartbreaking that here's this man who has this platform who is obviously an intelligent brother but when it comes to this shit he becomes a fucking to- total dumbass man it's like nigga what I hear- I hear you, I hear you, but, and I'm gonna play devil's advocate, okay? I'm gonna play devil's advocate, and you're probably gonna like not hate, not like. I know, but but you 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 talk about the victim because you the reason I say this is because you were mentioning the victim, and you know I agree with you when you say something that something happened, something traumatic happened to her, in in her in her her, her mind, her point of view, her perspective, whatever. We can't prove this, prove and, that. And for all we know, that. something. Right. You know, what I mean? we can't, we can't, we can't disprove or 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 any uh, other one. But what we can say is this is if something did happen, right? But if you want to say to the individual, to to the the lady that the victim that died or whatever, who's to say that? And I'm playing devil's advocate. Fuck. But who's to say that something wasn't wrong in her head that we that hasn't come out yet? You know what I mean? Like, what if you know? Because you do have multiple some, personalities. Some, you have people that right put. Like what? You, you have people that 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 put something in. They, they they tell themselves a lie so that they could believe it long enough. I'm not saying that that's what happened. All right, but I'm just saying though is. It's one of those things. It's like okay, we want Nate Parker to to so, to bear so, some so, some but, some responsibility, but where does that responsibility end and begin, or begin and end for him? Because I, I, after a certain, but she, but and, but he, and I hear he has bared no responsibility. But okay, but that's what I'm saying though. It's like, what if he just says like, hey, you know what? Like, I, I pay my due. You know how we always say like, hey, you you did the crime, you did the time, or or or. And then you're good, right? But he did this, quote unquote. He got accused of a crime, and he he got found not guilty or falsely accused or acquitted or whatever the fuck. So like, what more? What more can he do? I mean, I know that in the public spectrum, and he does have a platform. But what responsibility does he have to that responsibility of being on that platform? You know what I mean? Not not speaking not speaking so reckless about it. But but he's I mean, not speaking. One. I mean, he's not speaking about it. He's being asked he about. Is speak, it. He, he is speaking about it. Well, but he's being uh-huh. asked. Being asked to address it. And just because you and just because you're asked the question doesn't mean you have to answer it. True, true. And that, that's what we agree. But but you know what I'm you know what I'm saying though, right? Like, you know, we he, we we say we hear and say like, okay, you know, um, especially when you mention like, you know, us males, we have to. Um, 
have some type of like you know responsibility whether something whether we do something or not um we do have a platform and we do have to um at least pay respect to right, all, I, all, the I, all, I'm, all I'm gonna say is is the motherfucker you was with went to jail and the only reason why he got acquitted was because on an appeal after a witness declined to testify you know what i have been in some so how did he get like situations and and not and not once not once have me or any male i've been with been accused of rape right no i i I hear you but what 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 did uh nate parker get acquitted like how was he acquitted of 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 falsely false charges or something similar his 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 friend was acquitted the same person had sex with a woman the same night Right, but no, Nate Parker said that he was falsely accused. So somebody, he still went to trial, and they found him falsely accused. Right, like, right. Yeah. I'm saying, I'm saying this though. Even if you're, so that's like me and you in a room. A woman's choir is rape. I get no time, but you get some. You you get some time. How's that right? Some some fucked up happened, right? That's what right. I'm saying. No, 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 no. I agree. So like, who was falsely accused though? Me or you? Who was falsely? How, he 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 said. Exactly. Oh, so, hey, oh, so, oh, so his boy took the heat up. then? Something. No, his boy said he didn't do anything, but I'm saying something fucked up happened. People well, around people around the world, people around the world have orgies, trains, threesomes, no, yeah, yeah. Squad, whatever the fuck you want to call it, all the time, and no one gets accused of rape. But somehow, some way, these two motherfuckers got accused of rape, and one of them went to jail, but on the appeal, he got released. Yeah, but the one that went to jail didn't do anything. So we don't I, know. I, Initially, he did. Right. I mean, I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, I mean, I think I'm just playing devil's advocate in the sense that I, I'm uh, just saying I, I'm the one side. that went to the one that went to jail didn't do anything. Initially, he did. He must have did something. Right. So I'm, I'm to me, I'm guessing that somebody took the fall for somebody, or that they have a they have a law. Well, like the, the, I, I. I I think what's his name? Uh, somebody from, I think it was Terrence. Terrence. You, you know, you, you know, you don't have, you know, you don't have to play devil's advocate. You don't play devil's advocate. With I know, you. I know. I, I wouldn't I do know. it now. Rape, rape, no. rape is not the time. A rape trial is not the time to play devil's advocate. <laughs> no, it's not. It's not because you know, at the end of the day, something like you, you're right. You know, something happened. Something traumatic. Somebody, something that was traumatic enough to affect the victim, to cause them to either a build that lie into their head or or be feed that lie into their head you know what i'm saying something happened to either force them to lie to themselves about it or something happened to actually manifest that lie that they told themselves and that you know to themselves to for them to believe it so yeah you're i mean yeah he i mean he should just like but at the same time, I think it was on Three Guys On Turns or somebody um, were saying that he was a he was a wrestling wrestling star at Penn State, so he probably got like the star treatment yeah. too. They were saying, I mean, no, no one's really talking about that, but they're saying that the, that that could have played a part into it because he was a high high uh, a recruit or whatever. Um, his other like boy said, was. There's, there's a lot of things. There's a lot of things at work here. I'm just. I, don't, I wouldn't. I wouldn't play devil's advocate for this. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh, okay. Because so he, he, he said. He said. What did he say? But I also. I also think that you know. I don't want to harp on this. I don't want to be disrespect, disrespectful of them at all. He was talking about the woman's family. But you know, at some point, I have to say it. You know, I was falsely accused. So he can say, I mean, there's no, it, it, it's in his right to say I was falsely accused. I didn't rape that woman and leave it at that. What if he was falsely accused? I mean, I mean, I'm just we, saying, we, what we if, don't what know. Because me and you are still in the room. One of us committed a, the, the actual rape, but the other one didn't. We, I mean, yeah, you right. were but a, guess what? a bystander. But guess what? what but but guess what would happen? Guess what happened though? If crime, you were raping a woman but, but, in the room and I was there, you were, you wouldn't be raping a woman in the room. But okay, but yeah, but that's because you're you're fucking you're human and I'm a human too, and like 
I would do the same shit to you. I would clob you over the head just like you would too. But I'm, to me, but I'm saying though, you know what I mean? Like we're both in the room and say, I raped the chick. Yeah, you get falsely accused because you're the big black guy. They automatically assume after when the report comes out that you're the one that forced yourself, yourself out on that person. And I stay quiet. I don't, I don't get what you're saying. She accused but, both of them of rape. Yeah, but yeah, but then I get, <laughs> but then I get acquitted though because of of all the finger pointing is going to you. I'm just saying, like, it's fucked you up a, in either way you though. But I, going by your, you you acquitted, but going by your story, you raped a woman. You just got acquitted. Going by your story. So why are we hearing about this shit now? I guess that's a real big question. Is it because of the movie or not? Because he's been an actor for a while. I mean, I, 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 that's the, right, that's, the, that's, the that's the ten million dollar question. That's that's the ten million dollar question. Is it right. because and of so, the, and, at, and at first that was, and, and at first that's where I was at with it. Are you gonna go see the movie then, Friday? Even if that's the case, that, <laughs> are you gonna, gonna go see, see the movie, movie on Friday? I, I'm, I'm probably down. I do. I got. I, I, like I do not. most movies. I rent them at home. Are you gonna? Are you gonna stream it? Out? Uh, you know, bootleg it, or are you, you going to go I'm gonna, and, I'm gonna, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this monumental I'm gonna slavery movie? I'm going to rent it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rent it. <laughs> so you're not going to go watch I'm it on Friday? Huh? <laughs> you're not going to go watch it on Friday? Hold this on. coming Friday. I, I, I'm oh, not sure. This Friday? No. Not at all. I, I, I'm reading this shit. <laughs> There's some, some, some of this, this crazy shit he said. And dealing with so, oh, no, I, you I, playing I, the fucking... I want to play devil's advocate. <laughs> I saw that video, and I was like, oh, you idiot. Oh, you idiot. And then cool. I know that was just like... Wait, that guy, Nate Parker, that was... Uh, what's her name? Robin Williams oh. or whatever? Yeah. But Robin... Robin... Williams, nigga, I just, nigga, just, nigga, I, I didn't do it, but I am, I am sad. This lady took her, this lady took her life, and I don't know whatever you guys say about that. You gotta get a publicist, dog. Yeah, like I said, if he didn't do he it, did. that's fine. I mean, but some shady happened, dog. So what if he didn't do it? I'm just saying, I'm like, what if? What if he didn't do it? Like, it's too late. And what if? And what if? It's too late because grandma like, had a dick. She'd be grandpa, dog. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, because because it's too late. Like you know, right now, especially the world that we live in, it's like you know, you could be telling the truth though, but because of speculation, we're always gonna have you in doubt. You know what right, I mean? But, like, but, but the doubt always comes from the fact that the, the doubt comes from the fact that one of the people, the other person involved in this case, was found guilty. So people gonna always assume people gonna say some shady shit happened. I don't know. I just think we're giving that man a little bit more hard, hard of a time than an actual person, like an Ooh. actual swimmer from Stanford that actually raped and has a history of raping people. Oh, hey, well, you can give both the same. You give both the same amount of time. Like, like as people say, I'm not a goldfish. I can give them both my same amount of fucking, <laughs> <laughs> fucking, fuck him. He's a rapist. He was accused of rape and still say this guy something happened. Yeah, well, there's there's people saying that other girls that are coming in out with that Stanford swimmer, that there was like al- allegations now, you know what I mean? But I'm just saying those like just because this guy has a nice, you know, movie. I haven't even seen the fucking trailer for it. Though. I don't know. Though. Let, I don't know. It's just all suspicious. Start, you start digging yourself deeper, deeper holes. Let's let's, let's, let's move on before you dig yourself. Yeah. Are you gonna go I, watch the movie or not? Yeah. Are you gonna are you, are you gonna be mad at me if I go watch the movie on Saturday? Why would if I be see, mad if you if watch you the movie? On, if you see on you, Twitter, I, 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 I watch I watch, I watch I watch I watch fucking Ben Rop I watch big raping ass Roethlisberger play the Chiefs. That's because that, that's because you had like money or uh, uh, you had like something invested in, in your fantasy league. 
Me watching that game doesn't change the outcome of my fantasy league, though. Well, it doesn't? Not anymore? <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't get what you're saying. No, no, it doesn't. It, it doesn't matter. So you're going to, if you see this. I mean, they're going to score more points. So if I give it a 9.5 on Saturday, you're going to be like, all right, I'm going to go see that shit. That's what's up. You ain't going to drill me. You're going to be like, oh, you motherfucker. Probably not because I'll be at football practice or something. Oh, get the fuck out of here. What if I tag you? (laughs) You can do what you want, dog. I don't. (laughs) Social media doesn't make me go watch movies. I don't. I don't. You know me. I don't react. know how you, you remember how I act. React to me. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. I'm about, I'm about to react to this. Uh, stop recording button. We about to get off. It's like twelve o'clock. All right. <laughs> what? We good? Hey. So uh, before we oh, get yeah, it out, we good. what? What show? What show? I'm not gonna go see it, but I haven't seen the trailer yet. I'm gonna wait until it comes out on a bootleg copy, and it, and, it, and it's like a pretty legit one. Cause that's what I've been doing for a lot of the movies right now too. So shit, that's how I watch Ghostbusters. And speaking of Ghostbusters, I don't know what people were talking about though, like all that negative shit. Leslie Jones, they're fucking amazing in that it's fucking because, movie, dog. And she a big ass woman, dog. Sexist, dog. She a big ass woman. Because people are sexist. Oh my god, people are sexist. All right, it's time to go. Enjoy the music. Side eye. Oh my god. <laughs> Side eye. No, because she's, cause she's a because people are sexist. That's why. That's why people were talking shit about the movie. I thought it was pretty cool. I, I mean, I thought it was pretty good. I think that the movie went a little bit too long, longer than than anything. But anyway, so. New podcast that I've been listening to before we close out, Latino USA on NPR and uh, Code Switch on NPR. Pretty good shows. You? Uh, I mean, the one I haven't mentioned, last pack, last podcast on the left was pretty good. I tried it, bro. I got to give it another shot. It's just, I don't know. I might have to, it just, it just has to catch me at the right I- time, though. But I did the same thing with Firestarter too. So, yeah. But tell you, you missing out, dog. Those are, those are two uh, grade A uh, podcasts. Firestarter, I'm sad, but uh, Ba, one of, the, one of the members of Firestarter, he's he's taking off for a little bit. I hope he comes back. But even if he don't, uh, still gonna be uh, some good podcasts. And TKO, and, which one? Uh, K Bad, they hold it down. Which one? Why is he leaving? Ba, I don't. I'm, he, he's working on another project, so he said he wanted oh. to, to give his uh, full time to that. Oh, I'm I'm a little bit behind, so I'll probably I'll probably listen to it and be like, "Damn, what the fuck!" Yeah. All right. So, but yeah, but he'll be back. Yeah. But anyway, so that's another good one. Was episode thirteen. Thirteen, flying Asians and McCain's. Yeah. <laughs> hey, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> But no, hey, also, when you put it in iTunes, dog, or you put it in a thing, put episode 13. Because we like have, like, episode or EP. And so when you go to iTunes, the way it's listed, it's all fucked up. Oh, you, like, the actual word e- episode? Yeah, episode 13. And then, like, the colon fucking... It doesn't let me do the colon. What? It doesn't let me do the colon or on iTunes. How about the hash? It it does it does what it, when I do the colon it does the dash automatic. Oh yeah, do the dash then yeah do the dash. I've been doing the dash. Right, but there's some but no some of them you have like EP dot in the name of the show. I wouldn't look. Uh, sir. You've been bad. Hold up, dog. Now you, now you can nah, the hold up, dog. Don't hang, don't, 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 don't hang up now, though. You, you trying me right now, though. That's the one. That's the one thing that I've been fucking making sure I, I wasn't trying me, though. I'm trying to, son. Look. Oh man, you can't. Right, see it. right. It says EP nine. 
Right. You know what I'm saying? Dash. Episode nine. That's what I just said. That's what no. that's that's literally what I just said. Oh, uh, okay, okay, my bad. Episode one through four is that episode. Okay. Ooh. Ever since then it's like EP I just say you number just say. whatever. Whatever, dog. We ain't gonna this show ain't gonna see the shit until like consistent. Thursday. Damn, dog. That's Executive fine. producer, dog. Stop being lazy, nigga. <laughs> Stop being lazy, nigga. So we yeah, I mean, I've been, I've been, I've been consistent. Though you want me to write the word, or you want since episode four, nah, I've been you, you consistent. Say EP, that's fine. Dog, just say EP. I was giving you a hard time. Damn, dog. Like, this, this gonna be another hour hey, talk. Dog. I don't want to do it. Hey, look, hey, looking at these titles, I know we gotta go, but like looking at these titles, we got pretty good titles, though. I ain't gonna lie, though. That freedom cables go hard. Though. <laughs> Some of them freedom good. cables. That freedom, freedom cables, cables go hard. Dog. That's like my. That's like like all time favorite right there, dog. Freedom, freedom cables. <laughs> and I think like orange and bananas. Uh, orange I'm, and I'm, bananas. I'm a, it's like my second one. I'm, 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 I'm gonna like this fucking. What you say? What you say? Asians and McCain's nigga. <laughs> Flying Asians and McCain. <laughs> Flying Asian McCain's. <laughs> Flying Asians and McCain. Yeah, I'm gonna fuck with that. Alright. Alright, man. Joe Music. Alright, y'all. Thanks for listening. Fucking Negro Fry, Negro Wagon Podcast. We out this.